you know tuna tuna sarena mbele zake kwa sababu hakuna Mungu kama yeye tumekuja tena kwenye uwepo wake and we have to realize kwamba hakuna kama yeye 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 era bashita uvu zaki Na hina 
mikono yangu na inua mimi ni na kuabudu wa
Thank you. 
way to enter in the presence of God is not by tears. You may have issues, but God does, doesn't work well with sadness. He works well with joy. Your Bible, Biblia ya sema furaha ya Bwana. Furaha ya Bwana. When you say furaha ya Bwana, you say furaha ya Ela. Man can give joy, but cannot be strength. Man can give you joy, but the joy of man cannot be strength. Women can give you joy, and they do. But it can never be strength. It can never be strength. Children can give you joy, but it can never be strength. Friends, parents, 
can give you joy, but it can never be strength. One thing is the strength of man, the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord. Why can you need to joy of the Lord? Because Babu, the supply of that joy, see him too. Ni ye tu pe, ni limited edition joy, only found in God. You cannot get it anywhere else. The joy that is found. In the Lord. The joy that is found in the Lord. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Now, some of them started your nickel or name on a semi to your silly while as Gitike Manaki. You can have reasons to cry, but pain will never bring answers. But the joy of the Lord. The true definition of Yailo Neno ni kwamba when pale wakati ambapo furaha inaletwa si kwa sababu ya uwepo wa vitu au kitu bali furaha inaletwa kwa sababu umelipata tumaini ndani ya Mungu. You, you don't have it yet but there is hope you got that things will get better. You, you don't have it yet. Please, mark, mark that. Hauna bado. Ila unalo tumaini. Kabla ya kukupa kitu, nakupa kwanza tumaini. Ndiyo mana nasema, faith is the substance of the things hoped. Imani ni kuwa na hakika ya mambo ya nayo tarajiwa. Le neno tarajiwa in other language nasema hope, hope. Hope. Imani ni kuwa na hakika. I don't have it yet. I don't have it now. There is no even a clue or sign of me having it. But there is hope that is delivered by what the Lord is saying. Nani ya mewai kufika minguni? Achana na jiwa la usiku. Nauliza nani amewahi kufika mbinguni hapo? No 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 let's get it serious. Nani amewahi kufika mbinguni hapo? Nani amewahi kufika kwa baba? Nani amewahi kuona malaika mbinguni? Nani amewahi kuziona barabara za zabu? One thing we are sure. We read it all in the Bible. Unanielewa? Hata hawa wanaokuambia wameona maona vitu vingine ni zile illusions za vile ulivyoviona huko. Na ndio maana mtu yoyote akituambia amefika mbinguni alafu akatueleza ambacho hakimo humu No ah, you guys there is something i'm teaching come on get serious people Why are they laughing Kwa nini anacheka Please somebody tell me why are people laughing No ni kwa nataka kuelezea hivi no, let's get serious. To a serious scene. Now, kwa kuwa hamna hata mmoja wetu ambaye aliingia mbinguni physically, hata wanaosema wameingia waliingia by visions, by revelations. Wako watu napata access ya kuona mbingu. Jamani wapo. Wapo hata Yohana mwenyewe sio kwamba aliingia azima hivi ndio maana unaitwa ufunuo wa Yohana. Kwa hiyo inawezekana mtu kafunuliwa kwa msihukumu mapema bwana cheka so I, I, i want to say this kwa kuwa wote hatujawahi kuingia mbinguni physically hata barabara za dhahabu tunazoelezwa si kwamba tu watu wana uwezo wa kugaiwa vipande vya dhahabu akashuka navyo huku wote ambao wamewahi kumuona Mungu yeye mwenyewe anasema hivi hakuna waliowahi kuniona akaishi maana yake ni kwamba ukijaribu kuniona wanaoniona ni wale walioko upande wa pili but there is one thing we have tunatembea na tumaini kwenye mioyo yetu ya kwamba kuna mbingu siku moja tutakwenda 
Baba ametuandalia makao. Tutafika huko tutaingia. Hasiwepo hata mmoja atakayekosa. Na njia ya kufika huko ni kumkia Yesu Kristo kuwa Bwana na mwokozi wa maisha yako. You understand? So we walk with that hope. Lile tumaini ndio linatupa kutembea. Hatutaki kujikwaa kwa sababu ya lile tumaini. Tunatamani kutembea katika usafi na utakatifu kwa sababu ya lile tumaini. Tunatamani kutembea katika Mungu kwa sababu ya lile tumaini. That hope. I love the Bible say that hope does not disappoint. Lile tumaini hali tayarish. Nenda kwa watu watano waambie tunalo tumaini kwa Yesu. Mambia mwingine tena tunalo tumaini kwa Yesu. Come on go around to the five other people tell them tunalo tumaini kwa Yesu. Mwambie mwambie sijawahi kumuona physically ila nalo tumaini la uwepo wake. Ya yeah, ya. Yeah. You know why am I telling you this? Because most of time most of time religion yetu ya Ukristo inaonekana kama ni illusions. Ni kama dini fulani hivi ambayo kama tumepigwa. Yaani tunaamini <laughs> mwahi kuiona ile Uh, this is Abu Nuwas. Kuna kuna story mle nayo inaitwa nchi za kusadiki, nchi ya kusadikika. Kwa ni kama tunatembea na nchi ambayo ni illusion. Unaweza ukaona kwa mfano sasa hivi kwenye kwenye utandawazi huu you see people mbalimbali mbali duniani wanaleta reasonable scientific facts za kuprove kwamba Christianity is a lie. Ukristo ni uongo, Kristo mambo ya kumwamini Mungu ni uongo inaonekana kama Ukristo ni dini ya wakoloni unaelewa fresh mwanangu tufanye basi kweli ni dini ya wakoloni fact tu ya kwamba waliwaweza babu zetu ni dini ya kutufa <laughs> yeah, you know sometimes kwa sababu hatujui mimi nakubali mwanangu dini ya nani ya mkoloni fact ya kwamba babu yako aliyekuwa anaabudu mti walimtumikisha mwanangu huyu ndo Mungu hii ndio dini. Yeah, let's, let's do facts. Let's go with facts. Fact ya kwamba waliweza kuainamisha babu zetu wakawalimisha kwa kutumia hii dini. Mm. Mimi mwenyewe natamani kuinamisha wa kwangu. Kwenye maisha huko. So ni kama Ukristo unaonekana kama dini fulani hivi ya watu ambao wana mailuchi kwa kitu tunaomba sasa wanakoka wanapandisha atupandishi there is what we saw kuna picha tumeiona alafu hiyo picha tuliona umu 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 um. kuna picha tumeona baada ya kusoma umu the hope of god has been imparted in us kuna tumaini limewekwa ndani yetu so we we every single day we pursue that hope kwa kuchechemea we pursue that hope kwa kulia we pursue that hope we keep on moving with that hope na ndo maana sasa ya imani imani ni kuwa na uhakika na mambo unayoyatumainia unayoyatarajia ni bayana ya mambo yasionekana You don't have to have it on your hand to say you have it. No, if you tell you you have it, then you have it. Hello? Nanisikia anachosema? Ngio kije na yako tena mhubirie, mwambie uhitaji kuwa nacho mkononi ili useme unacho. Huku. Mwambie jina yako huku. Kwenye ufalme huu. Unakipata kutoka kwenye maneno yake kwanza ndio maana anasema hivi mtu hataishi kwa mkate tu bali kwa kila neno maana yake invoice zako zote ziko ndio kile anakuambia when you have the word for it 
then you have it. Mwambie Kiswahili. Mwambie hivi, ukiwa na neno. Juu ya hicho kitu. Unacho hicho kitu. Because God cannot lie. He does not lie. He can't lie. The ability of lying is not in him. He can't lie. Nyosha niko na kujua. Sema baba katika jina la Yesu. Leo hii nimekuja tena kusikia kutoka kwako. Katika jina la Yesu. Uaminifu wako. Uaminifu wa maneno yako. Uaminifu uliojificha ndani yako. Udhihirike kwangu leo tena katika jina la Yesu. Niko hapa mbele zako leo. Kulisikia neno lako. Neema yako Mungu wangu. Inionekanie leo tena. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Uaminifu wako. Ulioko ndani ya neno lako. Uonekane ndani yangu tena kwenye maisha yangu tena katika jina la Yesu ninaondoa maisha ni mwangu leo hii ninaondoa kwenye uwepo wako leo hii kila distraction ya kuniondoa kutoka kwenye neno lako katika jina la Yesu ninaondoa kila distraction ya kunitoa kwenye uwepo wako nataka kusikia kutoka kwako e bwana dakika his church Mungu lizonipa za kukaa uweponi mwako nijalie kwa neema yako kulipata tumaini tena tumaini la uwepo wa maisha yangu tumaini la kuwepo kwa maisha yangu tumaini la kupata ambacho sina tumaini la kuona haki yako ikidhirika kwangu kwa jina la Yesu Kristo ninaomba bwana unidhihirishie kwa uaminifu wako
nitakuwa Dar es Salaam hapa siku tatu kazi ninayoianza leo nitachimba msingi na nakupa introduction kabisa ili ujue tunakwenda but believe me i tell you i tell you the truth in the name of jesus Amen. believe me after these three days sparkles siongei kama mtu ambaye anakutia mzuka i tell you what i have seen to us it will be surprise but to god it is finished biblia inasema lile alitakalo amekwisha kulifanya narudia tena to us zitakuwa ni surprises because they god will do the unexpected no na hafanyi kwa kila mtu anafanya kwa anayeamini he will do the unexpected mimi sikupi mzuka nitakuonyesha kabisa the unexpected itatokea wapi sparkles the the tunahitaji ile yani miracles like um, like um, yeah 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 nimepata neno la Kiswahili umeona yale zile fataki zile ambazo zikinawashwa kwa chini afu kule nyindo mnaona pa 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 kizungu mnaitaje miracles like fireworks kiswahili tunaita fataki zile au mabaruti au vimweko mweko vya angani god will do things in your life rejo when they happen up there hata kama unazuga hutaki kuona you lift up your eyes and look at the blessed one sema kwa jina la yesu kati ya hao utakao watendea bwana mimi ni mmoja wao are you ready now are you ready for the word of god now are you ready for the word now are you ready for the word now let me show you how god is sweet sisi 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 hapa Mungu atatutumia sisi kuionyesha dunia kwamba Mungu analipa. Mungu atakutumia wewe kuonyesha watoto wa mama yako kwamba Mungu analipa. Yesu uliyemfuata hajakuchelewesha. Yesu analipa. Yesu uliyemfuata sio goi goi. Hajakupotezea muda. Bibi anasema wale wa mgojao Bwana wengine watatangulia kwa kutembea wengine watatangulia kwa kukimbia bali wale walio mgoja bwana walio mgoja bwana kwa maombi na sala walio mgoja bwana kwa kumlilia na kumtafuta walio mgoja wa the bible say number one utapata nguvu mpya ninasema kwa jina la Yesu mahali popote ulipokuwa unaanza kuwa weak watu wakakuona unaanza kuwa mdhaifu watu wakakuona unaanza kunyongea the bible says wanapata nguvu mpya i speak in the name of jesus an area of your life that was weaker pokea nguvu mpya pokea nguvu mpya pokea nguvu mpya and the bible says watapaju kwa mbawa oh my god anajua kabisa wanao ngojea bwana wana mikono wana miguu hawana mbawa paka wanasema watapaju kwa mbawa maana yake supernaturally he will put some wings yes. we don't just fly we don't jump there are supernatural wings that you don't see yes he puts it on us hallelujah amen eh eh sizungumzi siku ya mwisho amesema wale wa mgojao bwana watapaa juu kwa mbawa i love the beautiful part is hajasema watapaa juu kwa mbawa za bwana no 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 watapaa juu kwa mbawa zao maana yake nini kila mwanadamu aliyeungwa na Mungu ana mbawa ila wale walio mngoja bwana tu ndio wana uwezo wa kutumia mbawa zao yes 
If God cannot lie, akisema watapaji huko ambao wanzao, maana yake there is some fact that I have some wings. Or well, you may not see but God sees them. Yes. Even the devil sees them. Oh yeah yeah yeah, shetani anachokiona ni kile Mungu alichokisema. Devil knows when God is says true. Devil knows God God cannot lie. Devil knows that Satan anajua kama Mungu adangani. Satan anajua kama Mungu akisema kitu maana yake kipo. So what he does, he helps you not to believe. Bi anasema hivi Mungu wa dunia hii anapofusha fahamu zao, anapofusha akili zao. Why pofusha ring akili? Kwa nini asipofushe macho? Kwa nini asipofushe biashara? Anapofusha fahamu ili fahamu zikose kuelewa, ku grasp the reality that is found in the word of God. Kwa hiyo huko duniani inafanywa kazi moja tu ya kupotosha Mungu alichokisema, ya kupumbaza Mungu alichokisema, ya kukifanya Mungu alichokisema kionekane dhaifu, kionekana kwamba hakiwezi kutimia. Hapana, Mungu anaweza kutimiza alichokisema. Yes. Piga kelele kwa sauti yako yote. God can do. Angoja. Ngoja nikupe kelele ya kupiga. Unajua kuna kelele alafu kuna kelele. Ngoja nikupe kelele yenye maana. Piga kelele useme hivi. God can do what he said. God can do what he said. And I know that. And I believe that. And I believe that. Narudia tena sisi. Hmm? Sisi. I want this. I was praying the other few days. I was in my mountain praying, crying before God. Namwambia Mungu hivi, natamani watu wote wanaohudhuria kwenye makongamano ninayofundisha mimi. Wakitoka pale marafiki zao waangalie waseme hivi, you have some uh, some It is possible, brother. It is possible. The Bible says Yesu Kristo aliwachukua wanafunzi wake watatu akapanda nao mlimani alipojitenga nao akawaacha wengine alipopanda nao mlimani alipofika mlimani akasogea na yeye meters few ahead aliposogea pale Biblia inasema hivi wakaja viumbe wawili wa rohoni they were in the presence of God wakaja viumbe wawili Musa na Elia trust me when we are in the presence of God yes. we sign the word with the angels Amen. we sign the word with Moses yes. we sign the word tuko kwenye neno na Musa yuko katikati yetu yes. Elia yuko katikati yetu yes. manake ni we are we are <laughs> Woo. Do you know that feeling bro? That feeling to know that the Elijah in the Bible he is also among us listening the word. Amen. Ndio maana Biblia inasema kwenye kitabu cha Hebrewia 11 mimi ni kwenye kitabu cha Hebrewia anasema hivi kwa kuwa 12 pale anasema kwa kuwa tumezungukwa na wingu kubwa la mashahidi namna hii. Hao hajatuzungukwa mbinguni. Hapa tunapoongea mimi na nyinyi wametuzunguka Oh Pastor Tony mbona unaanza kuongea miss It's not a mystery it is written in your bible Elisha alisema Mungu mfungue macho Gehazi aone kwa hiyo watu waoni kwa sababu kuna kuna percentage ya macho yetu imefungwa and but mind you Gehazi alikuwa na macho Gehazi alikuwa anaona the story of Elisha and Gehazi and uh, 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 na, na Naaman The bible says Elisha anatoka nje Gehazi anamwambia Bwana wangu tumevungukwa na majeshi ya washani we are done tumekwisha tumekoma tumekwisha sisi kile ile kimetuponza the bible says elisha akamwambia walioko upande wetu kwa mchezo ni walioko upande wetu ndio kia nyama bia pharmaciana ni walioko upande wetu no 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 please people this is our bible but the devil anafanya haya maandiko yawe hayana maana anaposema walioko upande wetu wengine wako ubalozini ubalozi wa china wengine wako ubalozi wa marekani yes. wengine wako india yes. wengine wako dubai Amen. wengine wako ikulu ah. wengine wako uizarani yes. wengine wako sokoni come on man you can do me nothing kule kule unakoenda kunishtaki nao wengine kule kule unakoenda kunisa yani nikwambie hata kwa nyumba ya mganga eh hey, mganga anaweza akageuzwa moyo kafra bin vu umeenda kunioga mganga akamwambia toka umeniletea moto toka yes 
katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Amen. Hakuna wa kukuloga kwa jina la Yesu. Amen. Hakuna wa kuyaribu maisha yako. I Amen. feel some Holy Ghost. Yes. Nasema hakuna wa kuharibia maisha yako. Amen. Hakuna wa kukuchafua. Amen. Let them try. Wao wakitafuta kukupaka mavi, Mungu anawachukua na kutubukiza chooni kabisa. Sema yoyote anayetafuta kunichafua. Yoyote anayetafuta kunichafua. Mungu atamgeuza yeye kuwa kinyesi. Mungu atamgeuza yeye kuwa kinyesi. No bro. We don't have this confidence because we have bodyguards everywhere. No you see me, I don't walk with bodyguard. I have big men around me. Bigger than any bodyguard. Mimi kuishi ni Kristo. I live by one mission. I got nothing to lose. Kuishi ni Kristo na when you kill me, you have ascended me to father. Kuishi ni Kristo na kufa ni prophet. So you better do your opportunity cost better. Kiniacha kuishi show ni moja tu. Yesu mwanzo mwenga. Ukiniua mziki ni moja tu mbinguni. Kuishi ni Kristo. That's who we are. Take away the fear. Take away the, away the cowardness. Undoa kujisikia vibaya. Undoa kujichukia. Love some you. I love me some Tony. You know what I'm saying? Love some you, man. Love some you and believe on what you have believed. Yani, kilo licho kiamini, kiamini. Sijejua kama ni sentence za sawa. Sifundishi Kiswahili au Kiingereza hapo. Nasema hivi, believe what you believe. The movement is so high ya kufanya tulicho kiamini hakina maana. People are so busy there. Money is pumped in ili ionekane tulicho kiamini hakina issue. Niliwaambia watu warusha kule. Nikaambia watu wako busy. Wana, imagine. I I'm here. I'm here. Mmelipia kiingilio chote kunje huko ndani. See all this crowd. They don't pay nothing to get in there. So sio kama nafanya biashara. I'm here preaching the word. Just fixing the heart of people and creating better citizen for my nation. Nafanya kazi ya serikali. Natengeneza raia bora. Hii ni civics. But you cannot believe that our people hate you for doing this. People are planning things just to to to, to own. Unajua wanaanzaga hivi hivi. Wanaanzaga bro hii nyingine. <laughs> No 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 it's not pride people sizungumzi kwa kwa pride au kiburi no 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 bibi anasema hivi kwa moyo tunaamini na kwa kinywa kwa ni kikiri ni pride i'm practicing the word you cannot do me nothing elisha anamwambia geazi bro walioko upande wetu sisi ni wengi niache nimalize usingizi wangu kwa sababu jamani mwamsha asubuhi asubuhi huo amesema watu tufanye hivi wamesema tufanye hivi Una Mungu. Una Mungu. Kama unaamini katika Mungu aliyezungukwa na malaika, watu wakikupangia kufanyia chochote. Sikiliza, wao wana majini sisi tuna malaika. Malaika ndio majini yetu. Yes. Unawatumia dude hii moja tu. Gonga parali sisi na kaa hivi. Sema kwa jina la Yesu. Kwa jina la Yesu. Hawana cha kunifanya. Hawana cha kunifanya. We have God on our side. Ha! The Bible says, Bwana akiwa upande wetu. Bwana akiwa upande wetu. Oh my God. Bwana akiwa upande wetu. The only price we have to pay is to make sure God is on our side. Na kazi ya mafundisho yangu yote, yote is to help you to pull God on your side. Eh hey, mambo ya kusema hivi, mtumishi, sasa na mimi natamani kuja kanisani lakini naona dhambi ile tulia. Do whatever you can to make sure God is on your side. And when God is on your side, the Bible says nothing, no one can be against me. Ndio Kenya hapo afumwambia ndio mimi sasa. Ndio 
Bwana akiwa upande wetu ni nani aliye juu yetu ni nani aliye juu yetu Na wanasema hivi ni kitu gani cha kututenga na upendo wa Kristo like the way Christ loves us the way Yesu anatupenda there was no money enough to stop Jesus dying for me there was no body powerful enough to stop Jesus dying for me ni kitu gani cha kunitenga na upendo wa Kristo jana nilikuwa namwambia mtu mmoja no actually ni leo asubuhi mtu mmoja alikuwa ananiambia wewe unajua unafukua kuwa karibu na watu nani unajua utamwacha eh ninaambia bro kama kwenye maisha yako umesoma biblia na haujauona upendo bado hujasoma biblia the only message please write this down ukiwa umesimama sijakwambia ukani write this down the only message in the bible is love if you haven't seen love you haven't seen the bible yet hujasoma biblia bado the compilation of the message ya biblia ni upendo kama hujauona upendo bado kama hujauona upendo ndani ya biblia hujapata ujumbe bado mungu akutupa biblia ili tuone vile wetu wakitembea mungu akutupa biblia ili tupate imani na mungu akutupa biblia ili tupate kazi no mungu akutupa biblia ili no no mungu alitupa biblia so that we can understand his love towards men and so that we can use the love of god we have to show it to other men So mkiwaona watu namtafuta Mungu, wanamtaka Mungu, please open up doors. Kwa sababu aliyekusamea wewe dhambi, anaweza kumsamea mtu yoyote dhambi. Amen. Au mwenzetu una sinimita. Una kisinimita. Unajua sinimita? Kipimo cha dhambi. Unatumbukiza kwenye maisha ya wenzako na pima mm, kwa kweli huyu zina yake hapana. Ha! Mimi nazini mwenzangu lakini usinzi huu. Ngio gie anakuambia mwanzangu na kisinimita. <laughs> Thermometer inapima joto. Sinimita. <laughs> Naona wenzetu wanamiliki sasa visinimita. Wanatumbukiza kwenye maisha ya watu chuki. <laughs> Kwa kweli. Hapa tunafanya dhambi lakini wengine wamezidi. If you haven't got the message of love in the Bible. Hatujaandikiwa Biblia ili tupate gari. Hatuhubiriwi ili tupate mali. Hatujaandikiwa ili tupate kwa sababu hivyo vitu hata ukienda kwa Kalungu yeye uko nakupa. Unatoa tu kafara ya maisha yako ya watoto wako nakupa. But kitu kimoja tumeandikiwa huko. Love. That's the only message yote mnayoyaona viwete wanatembea vipofu wanaona wafu wanafufuka nisikilize nikwambie mtu wa Mungu ukiona ume, umeomba kwa Mungu akakupa kazi God is sending me a message I love you Amen. Unatafuta sijui hiki na hiki Mungu hataki upate message ya kwamba nimepata hela message that you should understand God love me Amen. Oh Jesus loves me Oh Jesus loves me. Oh Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Oh Jesus loves me. Oh Jesus loves me. Oh Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. This is the reason akafungua mikono yake akasema hivi njoni kwangu nyinyi nyote msumbukao na wenye kulemewa na mizigo nami nitawapumdisha while duniani unaambiwa hivi acha mzigo wako kule nje ndio uje kwa Yesu huku huku kanisani kanisa letu em ngoja mama nani hii una kitenge hapo binti aweza kaingia na ya amna No. Joni kwangu nyinyi nyote. There is no boyfriend powerful enough to tell you that. 
Jioni kwangu nyinyi nyote. There is no girlfriend beautiful enough to tell you that. Mke wangu ni mzuri mwanangu. Lakini hajawahi kuniambia lolote nini. Sababu kuna mizigo yangu hawezi kubeba. Na si unaona tu. Kuna mzigo mmoja ukiona unasikia mtu analemewa. Ah mimi siwezi kwa kweli kama ndo maisha yenyewe. Ah ah. Tasikia hapa mtu anasema mwanaume anichiti mimi hivi tunamalizana siku hiyo hiyo that tells you wives girlfriends cannot take burden how many times we cheated jesus tutakutegemeaweka katika kila kitu yesu na kungoja wewe bwana umemaliza kusema jioni jioni una laki mbili hapo nisaidie mwanangu wangu unajua wewe ndio mtu wangu sina mtu yote kwenye haya maisha. Yaani wewe ndiyo mwana. Bosi, oya. Alafu ukija huko, Yesu ni wewe. Cheating. And yet he is giving us chances and chances and chances. Anasema no no no, hujanielewa. Ukinielewa you rest your heart. Unawategemea wanadamu bado kwa sababu hujanielewa. Unahangaika na marafiki bado kwa sababu hujanielewa. Unatafuta tafuta washikaji wa kuzibia zibia maisha kwa sababu hujanielewa. Unafanya bidii saa hizi hapo ulipo past yako ilikuwa mbovu unakomaa unataka watu wakuelewe. Sikiliza nikwambie kama ulikuwa na maisha mabovu usigeuke nyuma na kuanza kuwaelezea watu. Jamani, unajua hapa nilikosea sababu mm-hmm. turn back. Kama amekuita kule, don't look back. Whatever I did in the past kama wewe unalo kama wewe unalo nimekuachia naweza mwi yako kulifanya mimi naendelea that's life we start where he called us humuoni batolomayo kipofu akiwaambia wenzake oya mwanangu yesu ameniita niwekeni nafasi yangu niwekeni nafasi yangu no, no, no. read the story bibi anasema yesu anapita katika njia batolomayo aliyekuwa haoni hiyo story ipo hata kwenye kwenye movie ya yesu Anauliza jamani kuna nini hapa? Wangapi wanajua hiyo story? Anasema hivi Yesu wa Nazareti anapita. Bartolomeo akisema hivi oya nishtulieni. Mhm. Yeye mwenyewe Yesu kwa nini? Kwa sababu ukiwaambia watu wakushtulie Yesu kwa ajili yako wana wana mambo yao. That's why my job and my assignment my people niwaambie is to help you get Jesus for yourself. That's why natumiaga muda mwingi sana kufundisha neno la Mungu liko hata kuwaombea. Why? Because I want you to get Jesus for you. Ufike mahali wewe useme hivi, Yesu, unirehemu. Amen. We didn't start by being perfect. He called us perfect and he is making us to become Biblia anasema kwenye kitabu cha Wafilipi anasema Mungu alimkirimia Yesu jina lipitalo majina yote baada ya nini baada ya mauti baada ya kuji, kujinyenyekeza paka mauti ya msalaba lakini the question is jina alipewa kabla hajafa That's the essence of that uh, Philippians chapter number 2 alimkirimia jina lipitalo majina yote kwa nini kwa sababu alikuwa mnyenyekevu akanyenyekea hata mauti kwa sababu hiyo Mungu akamkirimia jina lipitalo majina yote but you don't see a place Mungu anamwambia Yesu njoni kutunuku. Jina pokea kwa sababu umeshinda. No. Alimpa jina kabla hajaanza ku fight. Ametuita watoto wake right on the day tulipookoka. Right on the day tuliposema Bwana Yesu, nakuja mbele zako. Take me as I am. Clean up my sin. I want to believe you from today. Wewe ndani yangu na mimi ndani yako. I believe you. I believe you Jesus. I believe you. That day akatuita watoto wake akatuita watoto wake Alipotuita watoto wake he did it sio kwamba eti ametuita watoto wake kwa sababu ameona ametuona tumeshaishi maisha ya kumpendeza no 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 he called us first na baada ya kutuita then as hivi aliyowaita akaanza kuwatengeneza akaanza kuwatengeneza he makes us to become as the vision that he have we are the project of god ngeoke jina yako mwambie hivi God is at work. The project is still on. 
Mwambie kwa ukiniona mahali nimemesi. Jua project inaendelea. That is not the license to sin. Usilewe kufika kwenye kule Mungu alikokuwekea. Strive work together with him. Biblia inasema Mungu ufanya kazi pamoja na wale wampendao. Work together with him. Work together with him. Work together with him katika kukupatia mema. Katika kukupatia mema. Work together with him. Wait, so, so. Eh. Nimeambiwa hapa gari T3 1 CFK ime block njia Tanzania nzima inashindwa kupita. Kama wewe gari lako ni T312. Please kamtumikie Mungu kwa kufungua njia. Nelewa anachosema. Mgeu kile anakuambia mimi ni Mungu kazini. Ni Mungu kazini. Ndio maana Biblia utukufu ulioko katika yeye, alafu katika wewe utukufu sisi ndio tunabadilishwa. Tunatoka from one glory to another glory. Maana there is always a lesser glory if you choose to seek higher glory. The highest level of glory tutakutana nayo mbinguni. Midhari ya tujafa, we still in the process of becoming better. Nyosha mkono wako juu, mwambie Bwana Yesu leo tena. Nifanye bora kuliko jana. Ifanye dhambi kupoteza nguvu yake. Ongea kwa sauti yako yote. Ifanye dhambi kupoteza nguvu yake. Kwa jina la Yesu. Ondoa ndani yangu kiu ya dhambi. Wewe umesema kwenye neno lako. Mtu akikuamini wewe. Ndani yake kutakuweko na mito ya maji ya uzima na we umesema kwa neno lako na we umesema kwa neno lako umesema kwa neno lako tukikuamini wewe tukikusikiliza wewe utatupa maji ya uzima ambayo hayo maji ya takata kiu na kamu ya tutaona kiu tena kwa jina la yesu Amen. Amen. Now hold up your Bible and open up with me Galatians chapter number 3. Wa Galatia. Wa Galatia. Uh if you don't mind, nisaidie nenda kwenda kwa watu wawili watatu. Waambie leo. Ndio ile siku ninayopokea ile jambo langu. Na kesho tukutane hapa hapa nitakuonyesha. Ni masaa 12 tu kutokea sasa. Mungu anaanza kufanya kazi kwenye maisha yako. Amen. These three days will be poo 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 miracles like uh, fireworks. Amen. Unajua Mungu anakutendea jambo mpaka watu wanaona. Yaani unajua kuna vitu Mungu akutendea. Hautaki kushuhudia. Watu wanatakiwa waone. Taarifa kwa vyombo Kuna pages muhimu za Instagram watu lazima waingie waone taarifa haleluya galatians chapter number 4 wa galatia chapter number 4 and uh, ndio ninaanza sasa kwa wale ambao mnatufuatilia kwa njia mtandao ndio ninaanza na ujumbe huu nitazungumza ndani ya dakika 30 tu za kiroho of course na ninajua Mungu atabariki maisha yako this is inverted system chapter 7 Is it six or seven? Six. Arusha tulishia ngapi? Wale ambao mnafuatilia. Arusha tulishia tano. Four. Yes. Like really, this is five. This is six. Daniel. Six. So this is inverted system chapter number six, limited edition. Found in Dar es Salaam only toto wa makala Nampenda sana Mungu Sana Ni mzuri Nimekwambia usome chapter number 3 number chapter number 4 Ni 3 mtu wa Mungu Hii 4 nimevurugwa Inverted system part 6 Na tuko hapa Dar es Salaam na nimesema nitafundisha somo hili Mwezi mzima huu wa tatu na nimeanza leo chapter number 6 and kesho tutaingia part 7 and then Jumapili jioni 
nitamaliza chapter 8 Jumamosi nina assignment nitawapa Kila mtu aliye na biashara au aliye na ofisi mjini Jumamosi kuna maelekezo ambayo nitakupa kesho Najua zi, ofisi zinakuwa zimefungwa wengine ila mimi nitakutuma wewe uende ofisini hata kama hutaingia ofisini kuna kitu nitakwambia ukafanye kumbuka tunafundisha embedded system kwa kuna kitu ndao kwa kipachike pale mimi sina mganga wako mtu wa Mungu na kutuma ukamwage mwage unga jumatatu watu wakija ofisini wanakutana na mzigo umekaa pale kwa kaa mpaka mwisho nikupe maelekezo kwa jumamosi utakuja hapa jumamosi nitakwenda nitakuwekeza hapa kwenda afu jumapili jioni nitakuwekeza sasa kufanya na ulichofanya jumamosi this is system we are invading so invading we must be strategic people you should know Mungu aliwaambia wana wa Israel bado pigo moja na kwenye hili pigo tunashirikiana mimi na nyinyi nyinyi mtachukua kondomu mtachinja mtapaka damu kwenye mimi wa milango the rest ni achieni so there are there is a thing that we must do and then there is a thing that god must do tumeelewana yes mpo watu wa mungu amen that is for saturday i will tell you what to do sawa watu wa mungu nakumbuka tutakuwa tumefunga tutakuwa tumefunga funga funga hata kama ulikuwa hujafunga siku hizi zote zilizopita funga jumamosi funga please na kuomba funga hutakufa kama una vidonda na wamekwambia ukifunga utakufa andika sema pastor Tony Kapola amesema nikifa mumfuate yeye <laughs> utakufa funga the first enemy of the spirit is food it should tell you priorities za majaribu cha kwanza kabisa Yesu alichojaribu na tu kwa chakula learn to fast even when you don't have a thing to pray for Sometimes wakati namna tu ya ku activate your spiritual world you fast Mbinguni awali ugali huko Amen Amen Galatians chapter number 3 anzia mstari wa 7 tusome wote kwa sauti zetu zilizo jaa roho 1 2 3 go Fahamuni basi ya kuwa wale walio wa imani hao ndio wana wa Ibrahim. Naandiko kwa vile nilivyoona tangu zamani kwamba Mungu atawahesabia haki mataifa kwa imani. Mhm. Nilimhubiri Ibrahim habari njema za zamani kusema katika wewe mataifa yote watabarikiwa. Basi hao walio wa imani hubarikiwa pamoja na Ibrahim. Sema hao walio wa imani hubarikiwa pamoja kiwa pamoja na Ibrahim na Ibrahim naomba urudie hii mistari ni ya muhimu sana tunakoelekea siku hizi tatu please 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 Mungu akikujalia neema mgeukie na kuambia Mungu akikujalia neema uwepo kesho na Jumapili jioni jitahidi kadri unavyoweza Mungu akikujalia nini so Anasema fahamu tunde mstari wa saba tena fahamuni basi ya kuwa wale walio wa imani walio wa nini wa imani walio wa nini wa imani walio wa nini watu wa Mungu wa imani hao ndio wana wa Ibrahim kwa hiyo lazima ametokea mahali akizungumza so ninaomba ukae chini hapa anazungumza Habari za hao walio katika imani. Anasema hao walio wa imani, hao ndio wana wa Ibrahim. Sasa I plead to you my brothers and sisters to keen your mind, your thoughts, your hearts into listening what I'm saying. Alafu ukipokea pokea kivyako. Yaani usisubiria za mbona wengine hawaitikia mimi na mimi itikia mwenyewe. You need to get to be selfish in the presence of God sometimes. God is personal. Mtu yote akuuliza maswali kuhusu imani yako, mwambie God is personal. Humtaki Mungu wangu na we toka. Nikienda ba amniulize. Nikinywa bia amniulize. 
Nikienda sasa hivi, sikuizi naenda kanisani kwenda. Roho ya kurudisha nyuma watu hawa. Ngeogea naambia kwenda. Roho ya kurudisha nyuma. So anasema mstari wa tatu, uh, sura ya tatu, kuanzia mstari wa kwanza anasema hivi, "Enyi wa Galatia msio na akili, ni nani aliyewaloga? Ninyi ambao Yesu Kristo aliwekwa wazi mbele ya macho yenu ya kuwa amesulubiwa nataka kujifunza neno hili kutoka kwangu je mlimpokea roho kwa matendo ya sheria au kwa kusikia kutokana na imani je mmekuwa wajinga namna hii baada ya kuanzia rohoni mnataka kukamilishwa sasa mwilini mmepatikana na mateso makubwa namna hii bure ikiwa ni bure azabi ikiwa ni bure kweli basi mstari wa tano yeye awapae roho na kuwafanyia miujiza kati yenu je anayafanya hayo kwa matendo ya sheria au kwa kusikia kutokana na imani yeye awapae roho na kufanya miujiza kati yenu eh je afanye hayo kwa matendo ya sheria maana wake hao jamaa kuna vitu waliambiwa wafanye ili wapokee kutoka kwa Mungu. Wafanye ili wapokee kutoka kwa Mungu. Kwa hiyo wakaacha kuamini kwamba Mungu anaweza kutenda mpaka wafanye malipo fulani, mpaka watoe vitu fulani au mpaka wa do and don't vitu fulani ndio Mungu afanye kwao. Sasa Paulo anawauliza, "Guys, Kristo alisulubiwa kwa ajili yenu na ikawekwa wazi, mkaubiriwa, mkaipokea imani ya Kristo." kwa kuhubiriwa mliubiriwa mliubiriwa tu mkapokea kwamba Yesu ameingia ndani yangu na mimi nimemwamini then amenipa roho This is the point Mungu anasema wale waongozwao wao na roho hao ndio wana wa Mungu Yesu aliwaambia wanafunzi wake akasema hivi mimi nawapa ahadi ya kupokea roho wa baba Baba atawapa nyinyi kipawa zawadi ya Roho Mtakatifu. Kwa hiyo Roho Mtakatifu ameletwa kwetu kama zawadi. Roho Mtakatifu ni nani? Is the third entity of God. Hawako watatu, ila ni Mungu yoyo moja, ila anachomoa kutoka kwenye roho yake, anatupa sisi roho wake bila kipimo. Ningeweza kusema anatupa sisi the portion of his spirit, rather natakiwa kusema anatupa sisi roho wake anatupa sisi roho yake ile roho iliyoko ndani yake ndio anatupa sisi anatugawia anatupa sisi anakaa ndani yetu kinachomfanya Mungu kuwa Mungu anakiweka ndani yetu kinachomfanya yeye kubaki pale alipo kwenye uwezo ule kwenye mamlaka yale anakitoa ndani yake anakiweka kwetu huyo ndo anaitwa roho mtakatifu na kazi ya roho mtakatifu ni kutusaidia ameeleza kwenye kitabu cha Yohana sura ya 14 amezungumza habari za Roho Mtakatifu 15 amezungumza 16 amezungumza Yohana amezungumza habari za Roho Mtakatifu anasema hivi nitamuomba baba awape nyinyi msaidizi yani Roho Mtakatifu kwa maana yake Roho Mtakatifu kazi yake ya kwanza is the helper to help us anatusaidia sasa ukishatema neno roho roho haionekani kwa macho roho inakaa ndani ya kitu au ndani ya mtu kwa hiyo roho haionekani kwa macho kwa hiyo maana yake tunaposema roho mtakatifu ni msaidizi maana yake there is a supernatural being ambayo inaingia ndani yetu ambayo ni tofauti na human being there is a spirit being and human being alright yes mpo kwa hiyo tunapokuwa tunaishi kwenye maisha yetu wote tuliomwamini Kristo tuliamua kufuatana na Mungu tuliamua kumtafuta Mungu regardless ya position regardless ya Mungu ametukuta tukiwa ba ametukuta tukiwa kwenye madangulo ametukuta tukiwa mtaani ametukuta tukiwa watoto wa wachungaji ametukuta tukiwa popote Mungu alipokukuta lakini the moment tunapoanza kumwamini anachokifanya anaweka stamp ya kwamba huyu ni wa kwangu by him giving you his spirit so you must be filled with the spirit of god lazima upate siku ya kuambiwa hivi pokea roho mtakatifu na uanze kuongea naye kufanya naye kazi now i'll do that later i'll nitawaelezea siku mbili zijazo tunafanyaje kazi na roho mtakatifu okay yes. but today let me give you this introduction and alafu ni kuonyesha sasa sparkles tunazionea wapi 
Now, anapozungumza sasa habari za Roho Mtakatifu, Roho Mtakatifu ndio aliyemfanya Yesu kufanya matukio kwenye uso wa nchi. Yesu alizaliwa kama mtoto wa kiume wa kawaida tu na mama yake. Biblia inasema malaika alitokea akamwambia hivi yule mama, mama yake Yesu akamwambia, "Wewe mama utapata mtoto kwa uwezo wa Roho Mtakatifu. Atakuja nguvu za Mungu zitakuja utapata." Kwanza alimletea tu ujumbe, "Umepata neema ile salamu Maria wangapi mnajua salamu Maria?" Sema haya tuseme wote salamu Maria. Mhm. Wakatoliki wenzangu wote twende waanza salamu Maria. Bwana yunawe umebarikiwa kuliko wanawake wote. Eh, na Yesu mzao wa tumbo lako. Eh, Maria mtakatifu mama wa Mungu, utuombe sisi wakosefu sasa na saa ya kufa. Now the point here is not just to say Sala Maria umejaa neema bwana na 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 you need to understand ametokea wapi anapozungumza habari za Salam Maria Huyu mama kutoka kwenye kitabu cha Luka anasema hivi Malaika alimtokea Mungu akacheki kwenye mtaa kwenye mji akamuona Mariamu anafaa kuliko wanawake wengine and then akamweka akasema wewe na kuchagua ndio maana it is not about what Mary did it is about the grace kwa hiyo kilichomfanya Mariam apokee uwezo wa kumpokea Yesu tumboni kwake sio ubikira naomba kwanza nikuambie hilo sio ubikira ubikira pale upo tu kwa sababu Mungu alikuwa anatafuta fresh thing kitu ambacho hakijatumiwa na mtu mwingine yeyote ili wasije wakasema Bwana wana walipita wakaacha mbegu ndio maana mtoto kazaliwa Kwaenda uendaka uelewe asije mtu akakuhukumu kwamba ukiwa una bikira uweze kupokea roho mtakatifu wewe shindwa <laughs> na wewe uliye naye tunza. Sio sana. Mtumishi kasema hata ukina. Yatakushinda. Upo? Mgeoke na nani kumwambie haikuwa bikira ndio kigezo. The grace neema. Neema. Na paka nakwambia neema maana yake kwamba hata yeye pamoja na ubikira wake hakuwa na staili kupokea kwa sababu ikiwa tu neema ukisema this is by grace manaki you don't get it because you deserve it you get it because god saw it fit for you to receive it yes sema na mimi ninayo neema na mimi ninayo neema come on say it louder na mimi ninayo neema na mimi ninayo neema say it again louder na mimi ninayo neema na mimi ninayo neema na kwa sababu unayo neema kwa sababu unayo neema. Yes. Ile milango itafunguka sio kwa sababu umestahili. Amen. The grace will show it out. Amen. The grace will show it out. Amen. The grace will show it out. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Neema ya milango kufunguka. Amen. Neema ya kazi kuja mkononi mwako. Amen. More deals, more tenders, not because I deserve it. Yes. There is a grace of God upon me. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Sema ninayo neema. Ninayo neema. Ndio kile ninakwambia neema ile ile. Neema ile ile. Aliyoipokea Mariam. Aliyoipokea Mariam. Ndio hiyo hiyo na mimi ninayo. Ndio hiyo hiyo na mimi ninayo. Sema alipokea asicho staili kupokea. Alipokea asiwe kupokea. Na mimi nitapokea nisio staili kupokea. Na mimi nisio staili kupokea. Glory to God. Amen. It is by grace. It is by grace we pay nothing. It is by grace. So Paul is trying to break it down kwa Wagalatia kwa sababu kuna wauni waliingia kwenye kanisa la Wagalatia wakaanza kueleza ah hiyo amwezi nyewe kupata. Ah hiyo roho amwezi kwa nayo. Lazima amlipie shingo flani. Hiyo roho amwezi kwa nayo. Sasa ukisikia watu analipisha watu usije ukasema pastor Tony kawasema jamani kila watu na staili yao. Sisi kwetu hapa tunapokea mizigo kwa sababu ya grace. Na neema ina kera Neema ya Mungu ina tabia ya kukera. He gives those that you see they don't qualify. In the matter of fact, ili neema iwe neema, you have to not qualify it. Ngio kia jina lako nisaidie kumhubiri mwambie ili neema ya Mungu iwe neema. Unatakiwa usistahili. Kwa ukijichagua ukijipekua kuanzia asubuhi mpaka jioni, kulia kushoto juu chini za ye 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 Mungu naamini. Why kwa nini Yesu alifanya hivyo? Alifanya hivyo kwa sababu he wanted those who were out to feel 
will that they also have part in the portion of God. Ndiyo mana nikasema hivi, if you don't understand love, you haven't understand the Bible. If there is a way watu wanatendewa vitu vizuri na Mungu au watu wanamtaka Mungu au watu wanamtafuta Mungu alafu you have some sort of chuki unachukia unasonya unajisikia vibaya trust me wewe ni kashetani ambako kamejifunika kana nguo tu ila kenyewe kenyewe mwanangu how do you feel bad when things are happening to people i told you he went on the cross Yes, for end of Saliban. Not because the world deserved to be to, to receive him. Ndio maana anasema hapa, je, mlipata mlichokipata, roho wa Mungu limpata kwa matendo ya sheria. Now, bro, let me preach to you. Iko hivi, brother. Yaani kazi ya Yesu, naomba ili niwaambie na mlisikie leo. Kazi ya Yesu alichokuja kufanya, Yesu alikuja kutufungulia possibility ya sisi kupata haki ya kumpata roho mtakatifu because it was impossible roho mtakatifu akai na manyau nyau roho mtakatifu akai na mavunga vunga he is a holy spirit of god remember it is called holy holy there are spirit and there is the holy ko we are sinners we cannot stay with the holy spirit hello hello So it is the holy inaitwa holy takatifu anaitwa roho mtakatifu sisi wazinguaji ila ile inaitwa roho mtakatifu maana yake nini ni roho takatifu ya Mungu so ili ije ipate mahali pa kukaa kwa wanadamu Jesus must go first yes. ili kwa damu yake awatakase awasafishe so the holy spirit can stay so the holy spirit does not stay in the place of sin Hakai kwenye dhambi, hakai na dhambi. Trust me. That's why Jesus is vital. Receiving Jesus is vital. Ni kama tunaimba tu Bwana Yesu, leo hii nimepokea. It is done by faith. Ndio maana nasema hivi, hii sio ya mashtendo ya sheria. Hatutakiwi kujinyima kujiliza ndio ionekane Mungu ametusikia ametusalia. Na nikwambie for, for your information. Nikwambie alichokifanya Yesu kwenye msalaba Biblia nasema alichukua dhambi zetu in the matter of fact si kwamba tumesamewa please get it ile neno ombeni msamaa tunaomba msamaa for our consciousness ili tujifeel kwamba ah, nilikosea nikaomba msamaa Mungu akanisamea but in a real sense hatuombi msamaa ili kusamewa in the matter of fact mimi nikiadhibiwa kwa niaba yako maana yako umesamewa let's do the equation Tufanyeni hesabu. Please let's do it together. Brother Njo. Huyu brother tufanye kazi ngua. Sawa? Yes. Alafu huyu hapa ndio judge. Huyu ndio mateso. Anatakiwa amtese kwa sababu ya kuzingua kwake. And then here comes Jesus. And then this man anatakiwa kuja kumwadhibu huyu, kumattack. Sema jamaa naye amekaa nani sana. Sasa so, tumefanya okay uh, this might be uh, uh, what am naona kule nje mnaona ah uh, video zinawaonyesha haleluya eh uh-huh. imekaa vizuri sana tunaona kwa mfano jamaa amekaa kabisa kichechi boy umeona na mwana amekaa tu kama mshikaji tunaenda zake out wewe unaelewa anachosema jamaa hivyo yani anatafuta Mungu huyu He is suffocating in his life. Things are not working. He is every day not on by. He feels like dying. Attacks za kila namna. He is not okay. He is not well. He is not happy. Mnaweza mkamuona yuko happy lakini ndani yake kwa sababu shuhuda wa kwanza wa maisha ya mtu ni mtu mwenyewe. So huyu anaona kabisa hivi the only remedy I want kwa sababu injili hivi anasema hivi imani chanzo chake. Whether umesikia iwe kanisani, umesikia kwenye kanda ya kwaya, umesikia umepita barabarani, but there is a way. Kuna mahali tu umezungumzwa au umeona tu washikaji wanaenda kanisani ukasema hivi, "Oya, mwanangu wewe unaenda kwa kwa pastor Tony? Nipeleke mwanangu." 
Nani kuna namna? Anaweza asikueleze sana rafiki yako anaambia kwa kuna namna tu ninasikia. I think I need God. You, you get the point? Then mwana anakuja ma 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 vitu yanamuonyesha you 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 have to die. Then huyu jamaa anachokuja anasema hivi. Ah, hebu tupendeni hapo juu. Hawa ni vijana mimi mzee. Hora roya. Watch here. Kuja kwa huko. Ka ka wewe si mama kule. Wewe si mama hapa. So huyu jamaa anakiwa apigwe na huyu. Maisha yampige, mateso yampige. Piga sasa. Na unapina wewe. Sio sio ngumi kabisa blaza. Eh, bro, ndio kupigana kabisa. Piga tu namna hii. So he's he's being tormented with demons he's being tormented with life pressure things are happening because kinachomfanya apitia hayo yote ni lifestyle alioishi the sin hurt him sin inampiga inamtesa inamuumiza you understand and then in heaven mungu anampenda anamuonea huruma i have to do something for this little man i have to help him i have to save him and i said guys what can we do what can we do what can i do to help this guy and then jesus appears and say father let me go and take his place no huyo jamaa for him to be saved for him to get anything better kuna limitation imeka hapa you want to go this way huyu kazi yake ni kumzuia asiende upande wa pili wa maisha asiende upande wa pili wa maisha wewe sikiliza mfano wewe jitekesha hapo alafu upoteze mfano <laughs> ngeokea jina lako ambie sikiliza au niongee kama mwinjilisi sekeresa mwambie lako sekeresa all right please please back back in the place please now he has to get into another level of life sawa there is a place kwenye maisha we, you see we are not just talking about money or are talking about no, no. there is the what we call kwa sababu kitu anacho offer yesu na hivi amani ni wapayo nyinyi si kama ulimwengu utoavyo maana there is a kind of peace only god Ndio peace mwanangu naona watu wana maisha magumu ya FI but they are joyful. Ndio ile niliwaambia wakati tunaanza. Biblia inasema hivi the joy of the Lord is our strength. Furaha ya Bwana ndio nguvu yetu. It's not about the joy of the money. No 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 no. It's not about the joy of the boyfriend and the girlfriend. No, it's the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord manake. He joy the only producer, the only maker wa ifra anaitwa Mungu. Amen. The joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord. So when everything out there is not okay, is not working, this joy, this joy, what anaishangaza hivi, how could you be happy? Na unapitia haya yote. Unawaambia hata mimi sielewi, but there is a way. Yes. There is a way. Yes. There is something in me. Amen. Tells me everything will be okay. Yes. Now you know. Ile furaha haiti tu kwa sababu amejisikia kuja. Furaha ile inaletwa na tumaini tunaolipata kwenye kile Kristo alichokisema. Now there we go. Hope. Hope. You remember? Imani chanzo chake ni kusikia. Kusikia kunaleta nini? Kunaleta hope. Kunaleta tumaini you will be okay. Everything will be better. Everything. What assures you? that will be okay. Nini kinachokuhakikishia kwamba everything will be okay? It's not because there is the money in the bank. Yes. It's not because everything is okay now. Kinachonihakishia u okay wangu ni huyu. You know, you know there is what I heard and there is the one who said kama siamini nilichokisikia na muamini yeye aliyesema. So kinachonipa tumaini la kwamba kesho itakuwa njema kesho itakuwa bora something will be working well i know everything will be okay i'm going through rough time right now but i'm so sure everything will be okay kinachonihakishia uokei wangu aliyesema 
aliyesema na muamini sana yes. hajawahi kudanganya yes. wote aliyowapaga ahadi alitimiza alichowaambia amen ndio kile ninakwambia na muamini sana aliyesema muamini sana aliyesema so my people we cannot invade the system of this earth na wakati mifumo ya dunia hii imetengeneza kila namna ya kudiscourage movement nimwambia mtu mmoja hivi alikuja rafiki yangu mmoja from south africa akaniuliza sisi Afrika Kusini the greatest thing ambayo tunapataga shida kwa watu ni ni wizi unaweza kaacha gari yako kaibiwa yani hivyo that's what he told me mimi sijawahi kuisha Afrika Kusini nimewahi enda sijawahi kuisha kwao ya kwao yanawahusu wao ila akaniuliza hivi what's the thing ambayo unaiona kwenye nchi yenu ni problem let me tell you this today and the whole country in iskia the biggest problem of our nation the biggest problem of our nation is not money The biggest problem of our nation is not opportunities. The biggest problem of our nation especially to us the millennials. Kwa sisi tunaoingia kizazi kipya, sisi ambao tunawazaa watoto wetu ili waje watokee kuwa kitu cha maana. The biggest challenge that we are facing now is the bullying. The nation bulls is on. Bullying is the greatest enemy of our nation. We don't know in this country to encourage one another. We don't know In this country mtu anaweza akapambana kwenye maisha akatokea kwa kichwa maana unasikia hivi ah wewe umefanikiwa wewe wa kwanza yani there is a way people will bully you bullying is the greatest danger unafikiri unafikiri the biggest challenge we have in our life ni ndoza jinsi ya moja no bullying watu wanaingia huko kwa sababu ya bullying That's the greatest demon that torment our life. Eh, likichwa hilo. Eh, mimacho ile. Eh, wendo wa kukaa hivyo. Bullying. So ile bullying ninachokifanya, bullying I attack mwili. Bullying it goes straight to the soul. Straight to the soul. So it kills you slowly. Slowly hitting you down slowly. So if you don't have what to believe kama hauna cha kuamini hasa trust me naomba niwaambie leo hii my people hakuna mwanadamu mwenye uso aliyezaliwa kwa mwanamke mwenye mahali popote pa kupeleka yes. there is god in heaven yes yeye yeah, akisema you are better yes you are better yeye yes. yeah, akisema you can do it yes you can do it yes naza mtoto wako wa kike kafanana na babake shangazi zake wanaanza right nyumbani eh hey, nisura libaya kana na bibi yake nisura libaya you see words are starting spoken umeza katoa ka kiume kazuri say kana yake kazuri kama kama mwanamke they start hitting they are hitting so if we don't know how to protect our seeds kama tuwezi kuwalinda watoto wetu from the bullying learn to champion your sons learn to champion your daughters wa mama mlio na watoto wa kiume learn to tell your sons my son you are my father yes. i'm expecting you to do something better for me yes. i expect you to lead me yes. oh your dad is not here but you are my man now you can man up for me yes. you can be great for me Amen. you can make your mama proud yes lakini if you also contribute when i rejinga kama babako no you don't do that I have two girls in my life. Watoto wa kike, I I sit down with them. Today morning for instance, I had a meeting with them. We we had family meeting. One is 8 and another one is 5. But we had a meeting. <laughs> Telling them how special they are to me. Amen. Telling them no man will love them better than the way I do. Yeah. Telling them how powerful they can impact this world telling them how genius they are telling them how 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 better they can be vitu ambavyo sisi hatukufanyiwa na ndugu zetu ndio maana wengine wakaingia kwenye ulevi sio kwa sababu wanapenda pombe no 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 at least they feel kwa nini leo hii watu wanapambana kutafuta accommodation kwenye mioyo ya watu bullying so they buy things for friends they want to be around friends so that friends can accept them watu wanasafa acceptance guys There is a one man died for us. 
His name is Jesus. He is very much enough. Very much enough. Yes. When he is with you. Bibi ya nasema hivi. Yeye mungu alie mpenda na kumridhia. Mtu njia za mtu zikimfraisha buwana. Bibi ya nasema hivi. Ata mpatanisha hata na adui zake. So I better not get hard. Kutafuta namu ya kupatana na adui zangu. Nitafute kumfraisha mungu. So this guy probably he is suffering to cross this side. Anaangaika to cross from this side. And then he sin he sins. Dhambi yake, makosa yake yanamnyima haki ya kupita hivi kwa sababu kwenye ulimwengu wa roho we must be found righteous to receive anything. Kama ni peace kama ni healing we must be found righteous lazima tuonekane tuna haki ulimwengu wa roho ni kama mahakama ni ulimwengu usioonekana kwa macho haya but is there there is another world that is not seen the world where the rain is coming from mvua itoke kwenye mawingu bibi anasema mungu huonyeshea mvua akiamua kuifunga mawingu si mnayo evaporation walitudanganya Mawingu yapo lakini mvua inyeshi why God is the one who gives rain. Naona sasa hivi nikifunga mvua kwenye kitabu cha mambo ya nyakati anasema nikimfunga mvua isinyeshe kwenye nchi ikiwa watu wangu walioitwa kwa jina langu watajinyenyekesha na kuomba na kutafuta uso wangu mimi Mungu nitasikia kutoka mbinguni na nikisikia nitanyeshea nchi yao mvua. Yes. Maana he owns the rain. He owns the rain. He owns the rain. Watu walikula jangwani. Why? God owns the food. Hallelujah. Amen. Kuna mtu anapokea kitu leo. Amen. Kuna mtu anapokea kitu leo. Yes. We will invent the systems of this earth. Hallelujah. But we have to use our style. Niko naambia siku ya kwanza wakati tunaanza kufundisha ile somo la embedded system. Please I repeat again. Please 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 if you get time Nenda kwenye YouTube katfuatilie kuanzia embedded system part 1 part 2 part 3 go with the series it will help you Na hizi siku tatu Mungu akujalie neema don't miss it postpone other things just do one thing these three days today tomorrow and the Sunday evening just do one thing for your soul is idea nafsi yako ina suffocate sana help your soul to get something spirit of food Amina. Amen. Watu wa Mungu mnanielewa? So, anakosa haki huyu kwa sababu ya maisha anayoishi, kwa sababu ya dhambi iliyoko ndani yake. Na nikwambie, dhambi sio vitendo, dhambi ni asili, ni nature. So, Yesu anapokuja kwenye maisha ya mtu, habadilishi vitendo kwanza, anabadilisha nature kwanza. Ndio maana baada tu ya kumpokea Kristo, there is an urge ya kwenda kunywa pombe, there is an urge ya kwenda kufanya zina, and yet you know kabisa ukianza kufanya au ukienda kufanya there is a way you feel not okay kwa nini kwa sababu nature ya kwanza iliyokuwa na kufanya you feel comfortable ukinywa you feel comfortable ukifanya zina imeondoka lakini sasa hizi umeingizwa kitu kingine maana whenever you do it you feel bad you feel uncomfortable why you have another nature we change the nature first kwa sababu sasa hivi pastor mimi siku nikiacha pombe ndio nitakuja kanisani No 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 you come first we change the nature alafu yesu akiingia ndani yako slowly but surely anakata kiu anakata kiu yes. anakata kiu yes. anakata kiu ya zina anakata kiu ya pombe anakata kiu ya ulevi anakata kiu ya wizi anakata kiu ya umbea umbea nao asili dadangu yani kuna watu umbea unawawasha addicted to speaking umbea ngio kile nakwambia mhm mtumishi kasema yani kuna watu na waona hapa wasipouona umbea wanaumwa yani leo imefika saa tisa jioni saa kumi hajapata umbea wowote mateso Do you think kwa nini bloggers wanaoandika habari za watu mbaya wanapata hela kuliko bloggers wanaoandika mema ya watu? Watu wanaumwa umbea. Na hiyo ndio nimwambia, mkitaka kujua nchi hii ina shida. People they enjoy more when they hear scandals of other people. 
bullying so that they can Na unajua kwa nini? Kwa sababu ni 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 level ya mentality za kimaskini. Unajua a poor man has a, a, a style ya kumfanya feel comfortable kwenye umaskini wake. Yaani mtu maskini akimuona tajiri anasafa, anasema hivi. Kumbe ateseki peke yetu. Bora na yeye anateseka. As though kwamba mateso ya tajiri yamemuingizia yeye hela. Nitatizo. May God shield you. Amen. Mungu akueke ngao ya kuzuia na kila guilt. Amen. Na kila aina ya bullying. Yes. Na niwaambie sasa, mtu anayeongoza kwa bullying duniani ni shetani. Bullying ni devil's spirit and a system. If you don't deal with it early. Kwa sababu majaribu yote ya Yesu kule jangwani Yuko ni bullying. Kama wewe ni mwana wa Mungu. Maana yake nini? Mwana wa Mungu wenzako wamegeuza mawe. Wewe ukakuwa mwana wa Mungu, ugeuze jiwe wewe unaweza. Geuza kama wewe mwana wa Mungu, kumbe anamjaribu. Bullying zote zinakupelekea kufanya things beyond normal. Zinakugeuza moyo wako na kuwa kama mnyama. You are ready now to do any stuff. Why? You have been bullied by your auntie from your younghood. You have been bullied by your mother, your own biological mother, your father. People have been bullying you so right now you grow, umeona ah bana eh. So moyo wa mtu umegeuzwa umekuwa kama wa mnyama. No, there is one man. No matter how deadness that we are, he will receive us with love. Amen. Embrace the love of Jesus. Ni bora umwambie Yesu, wewe unanipenda lakini mimi nazingua. Yeye anakuja kwako kama nilivyo nisaidie basi. Nisaidie Yesu. Kaa hivyo bishana naye, mimi nilikuwa bishana gani naye ghetto. Ghetto wakati nimeokoka. Unajua ukiwa unaokoka zile unaenda unaenda unakoma unakoma baada kisha. Hii imetoka wapi tena? Unaokoka hapo mtoto wa kutembelea hosteli. Mwangu unavunja, unavunjia ndani, unavunjia nje unaambia naenda washroom mara moja. Ukifika washroom baba katika jina la Yesu. Nakata. <laughs> Nakata. Nakata. Navunja Bwana. Unagonga mivunjo yote mwanangu. Alafu unaingia room unakuta ndio kwanza. Yaani dada hata elewi. Eh, kwa hiyo sasa <laughs> Mwambie jirani yako ya kwamba nimeokoka mimi nampenda Yesu jirani jirani Wangapi mnajua huo wimbo? Tuko tunaimba kwenye mikutano ya injili barabarani. Mimi nimepiga mwanangu nimepiga maisha. Mwambie jirani yako Ya kwamba nimeokoka mimi nampenda Yesu jirani jirani hata ile ngoma ya mwambie jirani yako unamfanya jirani yako kuwa askari wanachokifanya sasa wakikuona ofisini umekasirika he aliyeokoka naye anakasirikaga and it's very bad you know so ni kama watu the people they rob your rights you have no right to complain now. You, oh yeah. Wewe umeokoka, unampenda Mungu. Ila mtu akikuzingua mwambie, sitaki ujinga. Kuokoka ni maokoka ila ushenzi sitaki. He, aliyeokoka naye anakasirika. Eh, anakasirika. Mungu mwenyewe anakasirika na anachoma watu moto. Fanya mazee na kuchoma moto. <laughs> so people they have a way. Yo yo tell bullying. You are telling bullying. Is another way of bullying. Kwa tunaanza kuona wokovu wetu hauna issue. Tuna feel shy to tell others these days I'm going to church. We feel shy to speak things of God. We feel shy. Unaona kabisa akaka ujumbe ni kazuri. Sisi ni weka kwenye Instagram za mmm utaona nimeokoka. Yeah. Na Yesu ametuwekea mtego anasema hivi, usiponikiri mimi mbele za watu na mimi nakusnitch mbele za baba. Kwa siku naenda mbele za Mungu, baba Mungu. Ninaomba unikumbuke. Yesu anasema Mungu, muone huyu huyu. Kanionea aibu mbele za washikaji zake. Kanikataa. Ngeokea nayo. Nimeokoka. 
Nampenda Yesu. Nampenda Yesu. Oh my brothers and sisters, you don't have to be perfect to love him. Yes. No, no, no. Actually, he calls you as you are. Yes. And he makes you perfect. Yes. Yeah, yeah, nasema mtakuwa wakamilifu. It's a process. It's a process. Ndio maana tunaita tuna ukulia wokovu. We grow daily. Hatukuanza kwa kutembea, tulianza kwa kutambaa, tulianza kwa kutambua. Then baba zetu wa kiroho, mama zetu wa kiroho wanatushika, wanatuambia walk, 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 walk. This is what I'm doing here. I'm telling you, walk, 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 walk. Mpaka siku inafika naambia Pastor Tony, thank you sir. I can walk alone now. Amen. I can walk alone now. I can pray myself now. Amen. I can sing myself now. Amen. I can come to church myself now. Amen. I can pray myself now. Amen. I can just give myself now. Amen. Say yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Kizazi hiki kitampenda Mungu kwa sababu yetu. Yes. Make that a vow in your life. My friend will love God because of me. Hallelujah. Amen. I was telling one of my daughter nikamwambia hivi, in your lifetime, wakati unatumikia dhambi, you made a lot of your friends go to la- bad life. Paka wengine wamekufa hawajamwamini Yesu. This time, this time, you don't have to be a preacher like me, but slowly but surely, let every friend of yours Know that these days you pray. Yes. These days you go to church. Amen. These days when they come ganga tena. At kutafuta shost ni peka wewe mtamwambia eh na mganga mwingine. Yuko Millennium Towers. Pastor Tony Kapola, he's preaching the word of the living God. Hallelujah. Amen. Biblia sema Bartholomew aliposikia Yesu anapita. Hakuwaambia watu hoya ni itieni. Mhm. Mhm. Biblia nasema alipoambiwa Yesu anapita the Bible says, akachukua koti lake la umaskini, la bullying walizo mfanyia watu, za mateso walizo mfanyia watu, then he shook himself off. Akatupa lile koti chini. Alafu batulumewa ya kusubiri watu wa mshitulia Yesu. Akaanza ye mwenyewe. Yesu! Wanazareti, unirehem. I have no better prayer to pray. Siwezi kuomba kama wao. Siwezi kuomba kama walioko karibu na wewe. Siwezi kuomba kama walokono walioko kanisani. I have only one line prayer. Yesu unirehem. Yesu unirehem. Yes. Yes, the Bible says, watu walikuwa ni wengi. Nyomi likuwa la kutosha. And the Bible says, Yesu alimsikia. There is a way when you call him no matter the number of the crowd yes. he will hear you for yourself amen he will hear you amen he has a space for everybody jesus has a space for every single one of us inverted system this time we will him with jesus we will win with Jesus. Yes. Tutapenya mahali waliko tufungia milango watashangaa tumetokea. Yes. Tumetokea tokea Jesus was Amen. there. Amen. Am I talking to somebody here? Hallelujah. If you read your Bible from Genesis to Revelation, alafu hujauelewa upendo wa Mungu, you haven't got it. You haven't got it. Hatujafunguliwa hii Biblia ninarudia tena ili tuone miujiza, ili tuone hela, ili tuone vyote vya Tumefunuliwa hiyo Biblia ili tuuelewe upendo wa Mungu. Kwa kila mahali ulipoona viweto unatembea, you have to see the love of God. God loved that man so much he made him stand again. Kila mahali ulipoona kina Shadrach, Meshach na Abednego wametolewa kwenye moto not because they deserved it. No, walitolewa kwenye moto because God loved them. Amen. Ngeo kesho hivi because he loves me. He will make it rain for me. He will make it happen for me. Hallelujah. So this man is struggling to cross this side. Hana haki mbele za Mungu. Na kwa kuwa hana haki, he not uh, he doesn't deserve to go this way. And the enemy is actually standing here kumfanya ajione kwa namna. Unaona jamaa alivyowahi? Church boy. Ngeo kija na kambia church girl au church boy wasikuzingue. Wewe mpende Mungu kwa staili yako. 
Hallelujah. So the enemy what he does, adui anachokifanya, anahakikisha huyu jamaa kwa kuwa hana haki anampekua, hana haki. Anasema kwenu nyinyi mna tabia hii. Uko wenu umefanya hivi. We hapo ulipo damu za watu zinakulilia. Umetoa mimba nyingi sana. Umefanya uzinzi mno. Wewe umekunywa sana pombe. Umetesa watu wengi sana. Wewe umchawi sana. Uwezi kupita. So enemy kazi yake ni kumanalize huyu jamaa na kwa sababu ya makosa yake hawezi ku cross over. And then Jesus said, I will go. I will take his place. Kuyo huyu anamdai huyu kwamba ukilipa deni lako utapita. So what God did akaja huyu akamtoa. Sawa? Sasa unaona huyu huyu anamrudisha nyuma Yesu akufanya hivyo. Wewe umkonyesha Yesu alivyofanya. You see, no, 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 everything happens here. It, it, it has a revelation. This is one revelation. We are losing it. So we think like going to Jesus is losing. It's not losing people. We gain. So you see, Anachukifanya Yesu ni hiki. Yeah. He comes here and he say, deal with me. Let him pass. So the man is crossing over and Jesus stays here. So the man is enjoying life. Jesus is staying here. Yesu nasema hivi. Mimi nalipia mshahara wa dhambi yake. That's where the Bible says mshahara wa dhambi ni Maut. That's why Jesus came and died. Sasa ni kulize swali. Deni likilipo umesameo? Siku sameo wa deni lilipo wa? But alie lipa, sio mimi. Alie lipa, ni Yesu. You get the point? Kwa sio kwa mba uja mama, tusamee deni. Ila alikuja Yesu, akalipa deni. Kwa yoni nao uja siri leo hii. Thank you Jesus. Huyu jamaa anatabia ya kugeuka na kuja kuendelea kunidai. Hautaki kufanikiwa. Wewe ulikosea huyu sasa kazi ya huyu anatakiwa apate mchungaji, mwalimu wa kumfundisha deni lako lilizipwa. Huyu kazi ya, kazi yangu mimi Pastor Tony ni kumfunulia huyu sasa. How deni lake litafuta akiwa na wengine saba. Yaani ile pepo moja lililokutoka lililokuachia, linatafuta wengine saba wenye nguvu kuliko yeye. Alafu anatafuta kurudi. Then wakiwa wanatafuta kurudi, you have to be told, you have to be knowledgeable enough kwa sababu anasema watu wangu nao ameshakuwa wa kwake. Watu wangu wanaangamizwa kwa kukosa maarifa. So now kilichobaki baada ya kuokoka, knowledge, he has to get the knowledge of God. Aambiwe sasa, ulipokuwa huku ili upate madili ulikuwa unaloga ili upate madili kuna kitu uko nafanya ili upate madili ya maisha kuna kitu uko nafanya na unapokuja upande huu wanatakiwa umpate sasa mtu mwenye neno la Mungu akuonyeshe upande huu dili tunapigaje ndo kazi yangu sasa that's where i come in now i'm not jesus to help you but i'm here this side together with you jesus was here mimi na mimi alinilipia deni langu nikaja upande huu mimi akanichagua kwa neema yake sasa kuanza kukupa the knowledge of god ili haya maarifa ya mungu yaanze kukuonya sasa kukwambia akija adui upande huu kwanza huku tunapigania tukiwa upande wetu hatupigani tukiwa upande ule wa asara upande ule wa dhambi huku tumeoshwa kwa damu deni limelipwa so we look at the enemy na tunasema in the name of Jesus not in my money uh -uh. this time tunamfuata adui katika jina la nani alielipa deni letu kwa hiyo unapomwambia adui kwa jina la Yesu actually what you are doing you are showing the receipt ni deni mimi nimelipa 
Niko hapa kusema yoyote aliyemwamini Yesu Kristo. Yes. Kuwa bwana mwokozi wa maisha yake. Amen. Mahali popote wanapokudai. Yes. Kwa jina la Yesu. Amen. Yoyote anayekudai kwamba usiingie level nyingine ya maisha. Yes. Usipate amani kwa sababu wanakudai makosa fulani fulani. Yes. Sema kwa jina la Yesu. Kwa jina. Kila dhambi niliyoifanya. Kila dhambi imelipiwa. Imelipiwa. Sema nakataa guilty. Nakataa guilty. Nakataa guilty. Nakataa guilty. Nakataa hukumu za moyoni. Nakataa hukumu za moyoni. Nakataa kujihukumu. Nakataa kujihukumu. Watu wa Mungu. Nisikilizeni. Kwa nini nasema useme nakataa hukumu? Kwa sababu right now shetani hana chochote cha kukudai ila anachokifanya he gives you pictures of your past. So enemy what the enemy does kwenye invaded system ili avamie mfumo wako wa maisha au haribu anachokifanya anakuletea hukumu za mambo yako ya zamani anakuonyesha pictures so you need to be filled with the word of god and to tell him i'm not here because i deserve i know it i'm here because i'm washed by his blood oh yes nimemwamini kwa hiyo anachoweza kukifanya shetani anakufarakanisha wewe na wewe ili wewe mwenyewe u lose confidence uanze kusema hivi Nezekana ile kazi sijapata kwa sababu nilizini Jumatatu. You get the point? Please get me well. Na leo anachosema. Unajua mwaka juzi. Mwaka juzi nilitoa mimba. Kwa hiyo mimi siwezi kuzaa. Mimi siwezi kuolewa. When Jesus comes in anakuambia hivi kale amepita we are starting a new thing yes maana yake kama tumbo lako liharibika i give you another one ndio maana anasema yote amepita tazama yamekuwa mapya nisikize niwaambie mtu yoyote yule anayesikia wewe umefanikiwa anachoweza kukifanya ni kukukumbusha wakati mko wadogo nakumbuka huyu mdogo wakati mko mdogo ulikuwa unajua kusoma si ndio kama kusaidia no listen to me mimi nimeokoka kabla ya kuokoka hata baada ya kuokoka wakati nakuwa kwenye okovu nilikuwa muuni tu nazingua kwa hiyo unachokifanya watu saa hizi wakiniona ubiri the more i'm growing the more my enemies wasionipenda wasiopenda speed yangu wananikumbusha hmm tumishi tutakuwa wewe wewe si ulinitongoza eh ni kutongoza sista lakini saa hizi nimeokoka bro vipi asia Mtumishi Mtumishi uwe wewe So nimewaambia bullying is the problem of our nation So when they see you on high Niamini mimi Ngoja niwaambie juzi TikTok niliposti clip fulani hivi Sawa Vijana wangu wa media walipost nikamwambia okay I, I approve that post it I don't do myself they do it Kambia that one post it When we posted it akaja dada mmoja ambaye mke wangu anamjua <laughs> live hu nisinge boya nisinge sema kama waifu ajui <laughs> nikamwambia unamuona huyu kaandika pale <laughs> kama mtu vile <laughs> live hu comment hapo nikamwambia waifu huyu sound kweli nilipiga lakini sikula mzigo Kama nimekula aje aseme kama nilikula Sikula mimi Na waifu alishajua hiyo story yote Kwa anawajua ana list yote ya watu ambao wananzinguaga So what she did what she's doing No 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 I, 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 I always tell you I don't have to fake to pretend like I'm a man of God, you know I'm walking. <laughs> I'm a human like you but full of grace. Come on the grace of God is over you too. Watu wa Mungu, Mungu ametuokoa tukiwa vijana. Tunapozidi kukua maisha mimi sio mzee. Nilipozingua napajua. But right now I've made my mind. I want to save God I want to focus forward. But what the sisters are doing, they are coming to my life now. 
wanachokifanya wanawaambia watu hmm. mnaenda kanisani kwake hamumjui hamumjui haya niwaulize swali nyinyi ndugu zangu nyie kwani mnanijua mnanifuata kwa sababu mnanijua mimi hapa najielezea mimi mimi naelezea Yesu tu hapa mimi watu wa Mungu sijawaita hapa ili mnijue mimi Bibi anasema mjue sana Tony iwe na amani. Amesemaje? Mjue sana Mungu ili uwe na amani. Ndipo mema yatakapo. The more you know people, the more you lose your peace. Mnataka sana nyinyi kumjua askofu Gamanyo. Mnataka kumjua askofu Kakobe. Mnataka kumjua mtumishi ili upate nini bro? Tumekutana hapo shida yako Biblia. Chukua mzigo kipande nilichokupa nenda kafanya maisha. Na ujue haya maisha haya. Hao watumishi haya muangalie. Muangalie basi haya tufanye mtumishi chitoni afai. Kuwa wewe mtumishi. Ah, mimi sijaitwa. Nani kaitwa sasa? Who told you that God will send angels to preach for us? Mungu anatuchukulia wanadamu hawa hawa. Wanadamu hawa hawa ili atuonyeshe. Ndio maana kwenye Biblia huku hakuna story za malaika. No, kuna story za wanadamu hawa hawa. Tunaonyeshwa madhaifu yao kabisa. Tunaonyeshwa walioshindwa. Tunaonyeshwa walio lakini bado Mungu anatuambia kina Daudi wenzenu walifeli lakini walimaliza vizuri. Rahabu story yake inaanza alikuwa ni kahaba lakini alipomaliza bibi yake Yesu yes. Mwanamke msamaria alianza kisimani alikuwa na wanaume saba alipomaliza katikuwa nchi nzima mji mzima wa Samaria kamletea Yesu Yesu anza kuhubiri mimi nakaa pembeni piga kazi mwanaume Oh yes we started our life very rough Sikiliza Sikiliza niwaambie. People know their mistakes. People know what really hurt them. Don't remind them every day. Don't remind tell them the better thing they want to hear. People know where they failed. Nimeona nikija hapa sikwambii mimi. Wewe ulevi wako utakuwa. No 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 nakwambia hivi there is a better life. There is a better life in God. Yes. Wana huwa vibe ya maisha wanaua vibe ya kuhaso. Kwa kila wakati napoenda kwa Mungu tunajiona si wahukumiwa watu wahukumiwa watu wao ya mwanangu Mungu anakupenda kinoma. So they don't want you to celebrate the level you are. They don't want me to celebrate what God is doing in my life. Kwa nataka ni kila nikikaa ni sema eh. kwenda. Afu najua unaniangalia kwenda. So what the devil does reminds you of your past. And then mke wangu sio alitoa wapi ile haikuwa akili yake namjua. Akaja akaniambia hivi when the devil reminds you of, of your past reminds him of his future. Shetani akikueleza akikukumbusha jana yako ilivyokuwa chafu mkumbushe yeye ataka kuishia. Kweli jana yangu ilikuwa chafu lakini mimi nitaka kuishia nimeokoka nitaishia mbinguni kwa baba ila wewe utaishia shetani kwenye moto kuzimu yani mkumbushe shetani jamani akikukumbusha mabaya yako na wewe mkumbushe kesho yake ilivyo ya moto don't kill yourself people are killing themselves kwa sababu wanasema hivi watu wakijua hili nitafanyaje watu wakijua hili nitafanyaje do you think kwa nini kwenye maisha people are capitalizing on the scandals of other people. Unajua ni kwa nini? Kwa sababu they know watu wakikuona umeanikwa, umekaa barabarani uchi, wa mnyama, ufai, wameku drag out. They know utasema hivi, watu wakijua itakuwaje. Watu wakijua itakuwaje. Listen to me. People people watu Uweze amini wanadamu walivyo ndio maana they are not reliable men are not reliable 
you can't believe friends that really friends of your life they can ditch you right before your face kuna yule
this is what the Lord taught me today. Niliandaa ujumbe wa kufundisha kuhusu embedded system. Yes, I can be I have a special package for the Islam of which I will deliver it tomorrow. Please I beg you hata kama na ratiba ngumu kiasi gani. Do your best to make it tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday. Do your best to make it tomorrow. Like ni akaniambia one thing because of the sensitivity of what we are going through i have to lead you the prayer of salvation sitaita watu mbele but we speak all hata kama uliwahi kuokoka hata kama unaonya unajiona wewe ni mchungaji ni mtumishi we will do it all what to begin to i want us to do it all weka mikono yako mbele kama mtu unayeomba sema bwana yesu neno lako linasema yoyote yoyote aliyemwamini mwana wa Mungu Mungu anakaa ndani, ndani yake Yesu ninakuamini ni neno lako linasema ni imani huja kwa kusikia nimekusikia ni neno lako limehubiriwa kwangu Bwana Yesu. Bwana Yesu. Ninaamini kwa upo. Na unaweza kubadilisha maisha ya watu. Start with my life. Ma- yako maeneo. Siwezi kujibadilisha mwenyewe. Ni wewe tu. Wewe ulikaa na watu wasiofaa. Ukawapa maisha yako wakaitwa watu wanaofaa wakaitwa badilisha moyo wangu kata kiu mbaya ndani yangu kata kiu ya dhambi ndani yangu neno lako linasema mtu yote akikuita utaitika mtu yote akufungulia mlango utaingia kwake Yesu nimekufungulia moyo wangu. Yesu Kuja kwangu tu hapa. Ni ishara ya kufungua mlango. Do what you can do. In my life. Fanya unachoweza kufanya. Make me a better version of myself. Fix my life Jesus. Every broken piece fix my life jesus nikiangalia jana yangu sione kipande chochote cha kuokota ambacho tunaweza kujivunia nacho lakini yesu kwako liko tumaini unaweza kunitengeneza neno lako linasema wewe ni mfinyanzi chombo kikileto kwako kikiwa udongo unaweza kutoa chombo kilicho bora nimekuja kwako neno lako linasema kila ajaye kwako hautamtupa hautamtupa nimekuja kwako change my life give me your life fanya maisha yangu kuwa bora futa uovu wangu kwa damu yako futa uovu wangu kwa damu yako mbo useme maneno haya sasa kwa imani sema chochote kilichowekwa kwenye damu yangu iwe ni ugonjwa iwe ni laana iwe ni dhambi iwe ni uchafu Sema leo hii kwa jina la Yesu toka ndani yangu Yesu uhai wako uingie ndani yangu uzima wa Mungu uingie ndani yangu uniketishe wanapokaa watakatifu unistailishe nisipostaili 
usamee dhambi yangu uniokoe na kila uovu iko mitego mingi imewekwa kinyume na mimi yesu nimekuja kwako neno lako linasema kila aliyekuja kwako hutamtupa usinitupe usinitupe nipe neema yako nipe neema yako kwako kuna uzima kwako kuna msamaha usamee dhambi yangu na kuanzia leo hii jifunue kwenye maisha yangu nguvu yako ionekane kwangu furaha yako ionekane kwangu amani yako ionekane kwangu nishinde kimungu mungu nishinde kwa miujiza yako nishinde kwa neema yako kwa jina la Yesu shetani leo hii i denounce you mimi sio sehemu yako huna unachonidai na kuanzia leo hii mapepo kwa jina la Yesu hamna nafasi kwenye maisha yangu mimi ni wa Yesu mimi ni wa Mungu na yeye ni wa kwangu mimi kuanzia sasa mimi ni mtoto wake kwa kuwa nimekuwa mtoto wa imani amen acha nikuombe sasa baba katika jina la Yesu zione nafsi hizi waone watu hawa tumepita kwenye nyakati zisizofaa kwenye maisha yetu lakini kwako kuna msamaha ili wewe uogopwe neno lako linasema ikiwa watu wangu walioitwa kwa jina langu watajinyenyekesha na kuomba na kutafuta uso wangu mimi Mungu nitasikia Mungu tumepiga magoti kwa niaba ya vijana wote wa Tanzania Mungu usamee uovu na utizama kwenye maisha yetu Usamee uovu unaokufanya usitusikie. Isamee dhambi inayokufanya usituangalie. Mungu makosa yetu watoto wetu wasialipie. Mungu uovu wetu watoto wetu wasiulipie. Katika jina la Yesu. Kwa sababu ya makosa na dhambi tuliyofanya, tusizuiliwe nafasi zenye maana. Tusizuiliwe na fursa zenye maana. Baraka yako iuje juu yetu. Baraka yako ije juu yetu. Samee dhambi zetu we Bwana. Baraka yako ije juu yetu. Yesu ingia ndani yetu. Wewe uwe furaha yetu. Wewe uwe focus yetu. Tuwekee ndani yetu kiu ya kutafuta wewe. Kiu ya kukimbizana na mambo yako. Tuwekee kukupenda. Tuwekee kukupenda. Ziba masikio yetu kusikia vicheko vya dharau watakavyotucheka watu. Ziba masikio yetu kusikia every mockery of evil na Mungu tupe ujasiri wa kusimamia imani zetu tupe ujasiri wa kusimamia hiki tulichokiamini tupe boldness ya imani tupe ujasiri wa kukisimamia tulichokiamini katika jina la Yesu baraka yako iwe na watu wako baraka yako iwe na watu wako simama juu listen to me sikiliza maelekezo hayo neno la Mungu linasema Please listen to me. Listen to me. It's very important. Neno la Mungu linasema Bwana akiwa upande wetu. Ni nani aliye juu yetu? So from tomorrow nitaanza sasa kukuonyesha. How can we go? Kwa nini nimeeleza au nimekufundisha aliyokufundisha? Watoto wa Mungu wengi please listen to me it will help you please listen to me Watoto wa Mungu wengi kwenye maisha yetu tumekuwa ni watu wa kuzima moto unaowashwa na adui Kwa tukija makanisani we are coming to seek just help lakini Mungu ameniambia nataka kunyenyua kizazi ambacho hakitakuja ili kuponywa adui alichokifanya Mungu anataka tutengenezwe ili sasa sisi tuka attack kambi za adui
kwa watu wote ambao you see you are struggling financially this is your message Mungu hataki kukupa makombo kwamba wengine wa make it alafu uokote kutoka kwenye makombo what god want is to give us strategy on how to attack in the land of the enemy wako watu kwenye uso wa nchi hii kwa sababu ya ushirikina wao wanasimamisha biashara kwa sababu ya ushirikina wao na biashara zao na dhambi zao nisikize niwaambie watu wa Mungu i will go very deep tomorrow nisikize niwaambie hii mnasikia mambo ya ushoga ndoa za jinsi ya moja hayo yote mnayosikia sio kwamba watu wamejisikia kufanya is a spirit na hii spirit is the highest level of sacrifice na huwa inaanza wanaume wanapotaka kuanza kukimbizana na mambo ya kinyume na maumbile kwa wake zao kwa hiyo wakiyakosa ndani wanatafuta mtaani kwa nini kwa sababu it's a spirit of evil to give them power it's not just about sexual pleasure no it's a sacrifice it's a ritual ni ibada it's a ritual so we have to learn how to decipher you cannot cancel a demon pepo alipewa ushauri mnasikia magomvi ya kwenye ndoa za watu mahusiano hayadumu hakuna utulivu kwenye mahusiano listen to me you cannot cancel a demonic possessed husband utampeleka kwa kila mwana psychology if there is a demon in him bibi anasema hivi ishara hizi zitafuatana na waaminio kwa jina langu watatoa pepo pa pepo ni pa kutoa pepo alishauriwi So many of us we have been cancelling demons. Tunaenda na wenzi wetu wamejaa pepo. Tunapewa ushauri. Anasema kabisa nimekuelewa mchungaji. Nimekuelewa. Ese brother, nimekuelewa. Akirudi, anarudi pale pale. You cannot cancel a demon. So my job here in Dar es Salaam is to help you how to de- how to sabu, if people can sacrifice their dignity utuao so that they can make it in life believe me believe me we cannot take from those people if we have not learned way to take from them Mungu alimwambia Abraham kwenye kitabu cha mwanzo sura ya 12 uzao wako nitawapa nchi hii lakini siwezi kuwa hapa leo kwa sababu uovu wa Wamori haujatimia bado maana yake nini Waamori walikuwa na uovu ambao wanaufanya lakini uovu ambao unamzuia Mungu asimpe Abraham nchi. Maana Mungu anasema hivi kuna kiwango cha uovu kikifika ndio mimi napiga. And then kwenye Biblia hiyo hiyo Genesis chapter number 22 Mungu anamwambia Abraham uzao wako unaotoka kwenye viuno vyako utatawala malango ya adui zako lakini sisi tumekuwa ni watu ambao tunakimbizwa mpaka kwenye majumba yetu tunapigwa mapepo wanatupiga watu wanaenda kwenye mashitani wanatupiga wanatuloga kila siku saa imefika na wageuzia kibao watakimbia miji kwa sababu yetu ninasema kama mtumishi wa Mungu yoyote anayeloga maisha yako ataukimbia mji huu so tunaonekana kama Mungu wetu ni mkubwa lakini hajafanya chochote hatujafundishwa so this is step one. level one into the real battle of getting into the systems of evil yesu anasema hivi na watu please naomba mnisikilize watu wa Mungu naomba unisikilize sio kwa sikio la kuhukumiwa nisikilize kwa sikio la kupata majibu anasema hivi na watu nyinyi kama kondo katikati ya nini so you have to win in the middle of mbwa mwitu maana yake kama hatujafundishwa namna ya kusurvive katikati ya mbwa mwitu we can't watatafuna this is the reason there is no level watoto wa Mungu hawafikagi there is a level wanaishaka kwenye uchumi fulani tu kuna mahali hawatoboi kwa hiyo yale tunayowafundisha mafungu ya kumi malimbuko ndio maana anasema hivi mnapotoa malimbuko nimafundisha sana hii kwenye kitabu cha kutoka 23 pale anasema mnapotoa malimbuko mimi Mungu nitamtuma malaika aende mbele yenu why it is so necessary umtume malaika maana yake nini anawaambia wenzenu wana majini there are battles in our level 
Unapambana ni kitu ambalo ulioni. Unaumwa ukipimwa ugonjwa uonekani watu wamekutupia dudeli na kunyonya damu tu, na kunyonya damu tu, na kunyonya damu. Some of you here mmelala mmeamka mmeota na mnaenda kupima mna HIV from the dream. Can you imagine? Manake you are fighting with something ambayo haipo. Hamna kidonge itaponya hiyo. It's a spiritual warfare. Ndiyo maana Biblia inatuonyesha watu kama kina Daniel. Biblia za mfalme akamfanya Daniel kuwa mkuu wa waganga na wachawi. How could a god boy kuwa mkuu wa mganga na wachawi? Maana yake nini? Aliwapiga waganga na kuruhusuje wao utawale. Maana kwa ganga nyoo ajoza huyu muuni ukiruka juu ya anga lake na kudondosha. Saa imefika na saa ndio hii. Wakija kulola kwenye duka lako wanatie hapo. Ujanisikia ninachosema nasema wanatie hapo. Sema kwa jina la Yesu. Wakikatiza mtaani kwangu. Wanatie hapo. Mshirikina anapata wapi ujasiri? wa kukuambia kwamba subutu ni ibia wa kwangu afu taona na kuloga lakini sisi hatuna ujasiri wa kukuambia hivi subutu gusi cha kwangu uone we have no confidence why because there is a way hatuko sawa na Mungu Mungu ambaye tuko naye sawa hawezi kwa upande wetu kwenye mapambano kesho nitakuonyesha haya yote kwenye biblia yako biblia inasema hivi wakati kwenye kitabu cha hesabu sura 22 i will show you all this tomorrow hesabu 22 biblia inasema hivi wakati bala mandaa kuwalaani wana wa Israel i read you the story one day wakati anataka kuwalaani wana wa Israel bia za Mungu akashuka ukisoma ile 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 hesabu 23 22 bala anamwambia balaki lete sadaka ngombe saba na kondoo saba zikanyanyuliwa madhabahu saba nisikilize upande wa giza wanatoa sacrifice ili wanunue laana ya kuwalaania watoto wa Mungu. Wakati amenyanyua madhabahu, Balaam ni mganga wa kienyeji. I was talking to one of my brother today. He's a very good businessman na akawa ananieleza mambo yanayotokea kwenye maisha yake. Nikaanza kumweleza, nikamwambia hivi, kwa taarifa yako, watu wa Giza wana namna ya kuita nguvu za rohoni na ukiziita zinakuja. Remind you. Please be reminded. Biblia inasema Mungu hana upendeleo kwa mganga akimuita anaitika. Uh, you don't like that. Hamtaki kusikia hiyo. Kama kweli Mungu ana upendeleo, believe me. Waganga wote, they are going to do inquiry kwenye ulimwengu mwingine ambao ndio huo huo na sisi tunaenda. Bibi anasema hivi, Balaam na Balaki wakasimamisha madhabahu. I will show you tomorrow, please don't miss it. Do your best, don't miss it. Aliposimamisha madhabahu, akamuita Mungu ili awalaani wana wa Israeli. Mungu aliposhuka sasa hivi usiwalaani maana ni mabariki. Maana yake nini? Hujawahi sikia wewe story ya kwamba hivi mganga m- Yesu ametokezea kwa mganga. Maana yake kwa waganga pia Mungu anatokeaga, anawaambia watu no, don't kill this person. Ukiua na kuua. Mganga anamwambia mteja wake, best. Wazee wameniambia nitakufa. Maana yake anamwambia this is untouchable. Unafikiri wao wapendi kuishi? Sema I am untouchable. Sema kwa jasiri ya mayantachabo. Sema tena ya mayantachabo. Mwanangu safari hiyo akienda kwa waganga atakutana na hiyo kauli. This is untouchable. Haujasoma huko kwenye Biblia? Sauli, I mean, Sauli mfalme wa Israel. Samuel alipokufa, akaona hawezi kuomba Mungu. Hawezi kupata majibu juu ya vita. Akaenda kwa mchawi, anaitwa mchawi wa endo kaenda kwa mganga wa kinyeje na mwambia hivi naomba uniinulie Samueli Samueli ni nabii wa Bwana amekufa lakini mganga apiga makorokoro mpaka Samueli mzimu wake ukaja That is to tell you they can access the spiritual realm na wakasimama mbele za Mungu waganga wa kinyeje This is another school of thought you have never heard it Wana uwezo kusimama mbele za Mungu na ku claim you are right Huyu Mungu unambariki kama nani? Na Mungu akicheki portfolio yako nyoni mwangu wa roho, hamna mafungu ya kumi, hamna limbuko, hamna damu ya Yesu. Ndio maana tumeanza leo, damu ya Yesu initakasi. So, 
Hamna limbuko, hamna fungu la kumi. There is the blood of Jesus. Now there is what to do on top. Kuna maagano yetu maagano ya milele. You don't you don't delete them. Manake agano la Yesu nakuja kusoma kwenye hayo magano mengine ya milele. Hayafutiki hayo. Kama ni uzao wa Ibrahim fungu la kumi Abraham alitoa. Kama ni uzao wa Ibrahim limbuko Abraham alitoa. You have to walk in those patterns. Maana anasema hivi, nyinyi mmelaaniwa kwa laana kwani kwa sababu mnaniibia mimi zaka na dhabiu. This was a covenant payment. You are supposed to do it. Kwa hiyo hao wana wa Israeli, watoto wa Ibrahim, hawapigwi na uchawi kwa sababu uchawi una nguvu. No, wanapigwa na uchawi kwa sababu wamefarakanishwa na Mungu wao. Ukisoma hiyo story ya hesabu 22 inaanza 22 23 24. Hizi 23 na 24. 22 23 zote baalamu anajaribu kuwalaani, hawalaaniki. Anajaribu kuwalaani, hawalaaniki. Na laana ni nini? Mtu anakuambia hivi nyota zimkatae, anga limkatae. Ardhi mkatae, miti mkatae. Watu wamkatae. Unaenda kila mwanzo mtumishi mimi na roho ya katolika. Sio roho ya katolika watu wamechawia. They don't like you anymore. Things are not working. Mali pengine mtu anasema hivi asikie kufa kufa. Ajione anakufa. People ni ngumu kuwawa. They sign themselves death. Huku ndani anaanza kusema mimi nakufa. Siwezi kuishi tena mimi nakufa. Watoto wako namwachia nani? Nani akulelewa watoto wako? Ukifika mbinguni unafikuta escape death. You will watch. Bibi anasema hivi kule kuzimu yule tajiri alipokufa aliwaona ndugu zake huku duniani. Akasema hivi naomba baba Ibrahim umtume Lazaro akawa ndiye ndugu zangu wasije wakaja huko. Maana he was watching. Kwa hiyo ukifika kuzimu sio kwamba eti umekutapumzika mateso. You will be watching watoto wako wakibakwa. You will be watching watoto wako wakifanya vitu vya hovyo. You will be watching. So the pain is added thrice. So a suicide mission is not a it's not a mission. Kujiua sio mission. Clean up your life and focus in God. Hata kusaidia anajua wewe una udhaifu fulani ana ujua hata kusaidia mbona wengine wametusaidia mimi simekwambia nilikuwa nazingua sasa hivi fresh <laughs> Na shetani kazi yake kubwa ni kutuonyesha daily huyo haujakaa fresh huko vizuri akwambia huko vizuri mwambie hayuko vizuri dada yako <laughs> Kana Mungu vizuri kufa hakuta kusaidia ndio gani anakuambia kuwahi kufa sio issue utaona utayaona anaendelea duniani utayaona you will see it trust me utayaona ndio yeye ndio anasema hivi tajiri alikuwa anaona ndugu zake anasema hivi muone naomba umtume akawaonye wasije wakaja huko like he was watching wanatuona upande huo wa pili wanatuona Ishina mbili, ishina tatu, ishina nne. Jamaa anahangaika kwa laani. Ishirina tano. Ishina nne mwishoni, hesabu ishina nne mwishoni. Mungu anamwambia hivi, wewe hawalaaniki hao na ukikomaa kwa laani na kuua. Mganga yeyote anataka afta kukuua, atakufa yeye. Sema amina. Ujuna. Ujuna unalogwa na nani wewe? Sema amen. Amen. Nasema kama mtumishi wa Jehova. Yo yote anayetafuta kukuua atakufa yeye. Kaburi watakalochimba wataingia wao. Na waingie wao peke yao. Wanaingia wao na watoto wao. So the mission here kabla ya kuanza invaded system na kusikia ma revelation manini. The mission number one here is to make sure God is on your side. Never fight a spiritual battle without that assurance Sianzisha vita ya kiroho wakati hauna uhakika Mungu yuko upande wako utaanza kulia me me Never fight any spiritual battle if you're not sure that God is on your side So this is how we started Kesho sasa we arrange our war We are winning my brothers and sisters I tell you we are winning this year Sema kwa sauti yako yote we are winning this year. We are winning this year. We are winning. We are winning. Sema tena we are winning. This is the year Mungu amekusudia. We are winning this year. Sema I am winning this year. Sema tena I am winning this year. Kila kilichowahi kukutoa machozi 
mwaka huu hicho hicho kitakupa kicheko That's the meaning anaposema he has stunned my morning into dances amegeuza kilio changu kuwa machezo ya mziki One condition is sure God is on your side This is the reason why you should say father please clean up my shit by the blood of Jesus and then after that then we launch your war sio sana umetakaswa kwa dhambi umetakaswa kwa damu ya Yesu dhambi zako zimefutwa alafu umebweteka namna hii hauna issue ukishatakaswa kwa dhambi anza kutafuta namna ya ku take over taking over because now you are the seed of Abraham na kwa sababu sisi ni uzao wa Ibrahim nikuonyesha kwenye Wagalatia kwa kuwa sisi ni uzao wa Ibrahim kwa sababu ya imani then tunatawala malango ya dui zetu Amina watu wa Mungu mnaelewa ninachosema Alipoona watu hawalaaniki ufunuo wa Yohana kuna kitu kinaitwa fundisho la Baalamu Moyo kusikia Aliwafundisha nini Fundisho la Balamu liko kitabu cha ufunuo. I wish ningekuwa namna ningewaonyesha hiyo. Kesho. Fundisho la Balamu liko kwenye kitabu cha ufunuo. Anasema siku za mwisho watatokea manabii ambao watawafundisha watu fundisho la Balamu. Fundisho la Balamu ni lipi? Balamu aliwafundisha watu wa Moabu. Akawaambia hao watu hamwezi kuwalaani maana wamebarikiwa. Kwa sababu hiyo tengenezeni pati Bibi anasema wakatengeneza sherehe kwa Mungu wao. Walipotengeneza sherehe kwa Mungu wao wakaandaa chakula. Walipoandaa chakula wakawaalika. Sura ya 25 anasema hivi, wa jamaa wakazini na mabinti wa Moab. Kuzini na mabinti wa Moab maana yake nini? Waliwaalika kwenye chakula na ibada zao. Hakuna futari sio na dua. Haki kusikia kalale mbele kila ftari baada au kabla ya ftari ina ibada kila chakula kinacholiwa kwa sababu ya ibada ya dini maana yake nini that food is not just food is a spiritual food ndio maana hata sisi huku kwa kanisani tuna kitu kinaitwa meza ya bwana nao mmewahi kuwaalika marafiki zenu wasio wa kristo kuja kushiriki meza ya bwana ila nyinyi mmealikwa kushiriki meza na sisi tunaposhiriki meza ya bwana tunatamkiwa maneno kwamba mkate huu ni damu hii ni the bible is writing there anasema hivi mkishaleta mafungu yenu ya kumi, mtakaa mbele za bwana na kula na kunywa ni chakula kinacholiwa sio chakula ni ibada wajamaa wakahakikisha moabu wanawakalisha wale wajamaa wamewapokea kama wageni wao walipowapokea kama wageni wakaanza kudansi nao mziki, wakacheza nao walipocheza nao wa, wa, kwenye ibada zetu watoto wao wanakatika hivi kwa wanaume wamekaa wanaangalia mabinti wakiwa wanakatika huko wanakula huko wanakunywa wakawatia pombe walipowatia pombe wanaona watoto wanakatika biblia inasema hivi wajamaa wakawatamani wakalala nao walipolala nao Mungu akasema niliwaambia msishiriki na watu wasio wa taifa lenu msishiriki miungu yao ibada zao wala namna walivyo so wanashangaa ghafla anayewapiga saa hizi sio mwabu mungu wao kwa nini usisujudie miungu mingine walienda wakala wakainama meza ya bwana mnaishiriki barabarani huko kila mtu So you be careful. There is a strategy of war. Ambayo watoto wa Mungu wanapigwa ndio maana kuna class of economy ya nchi hii haiko kwenye mikono ya kanisa haiko. Haiko watoto wa Mungu hawana. Na hata watoto wa Mungu wanaoitwa majina ya Kikristo walio nao wenyewe wamechoka. They have no way to stand and say Jesus is the Lord. Wacha tufanye kazi ya Mungu. Wacha tujenge makanisa. Wacha tumtumikie Mungu. Wacha tusupport mikutano. They cannot do that. Why? Because the money is in the hands of the enemy. I will see you tomorrow. 
nyanyua sadaka yako juu. Sema Bwana Yesu. Ngeokee okay, nakwambia weka sadaka. Kwanza tuachane na Yesu kwanza. Weka sadaka. Acha uone. Nyanyua baasha sadaka juu. Sema Bwana Yesu. Eh 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 tulia. Eh kuna watu jamani. Bwana Yesu. Kaa kwenye kiti chako nyanyua sadaka yako juu. Everybody please. Let's respect the altar. Nyanyua sadaka yako juu. Simama juu. Sema Bwana Yesu. Leo hii. Nimelisikia neno lako. Na nimepokea wokovu wako. Ninakuomba. Neema yako isinipungukie. Baraka yako isinipungukie. Kwa jina la Yesu. Ninaipokea baraka yako leo. Naipokea neema yako leo. Na upokea upendeleo wako leo. Kwa sadaka hii I register my heart. Kwenye madhabahu yako Kristo. Damu yako inayonena mema. Kwenye madhabahu ya mbinguni. Itizame sadaka yangu. Na ikanenene mema. Kwa jina la Yesu. Amen. Tutaweka sadaka yako hapa. Kesho tunaanza saa moja kamili. Please I beg you in the name of Jesus. Don't miss the service of tomorrow. Sit down everybody. Sit down everybody. Vitabu vyetu viko pale nje if you would love a book. Leo ni siku ya kwanza. Kesho is a special day. Don't miss it. I'm going to go deep tomorrow. Don't miss it. Karibu tuwe sadaka yako. Njia zetu za kurudia unazijua na za kujua unazijua. Hii sio njia ya kujia. Njia ya kujia ni ile kule. Aha, ni hii. Tunatokea hii tutokea hapo wote. Hii ni ya kutokea. Usijie njia hii, ni ya kutokea. Kwa wote tunatoa tunatokea hapa. Naomba Asha zimtawasaidia watu.